Good morning, everyone who's watching the recording. Waiting for everyone to arrive. It just went live, and Kathy will be here momentarily. We're at a jelly plate today. Make some fall papers used for our fall journals, which should be fun. I gathered some leaves yesterday to play with, and I know I have some leaf stencils and stuff too, but it's fun to play with real leaves. It just is. Hi, Janice. How are you? Thank you for my uh, rooster and feather fabric you sent me, the table runner I got from Keisha. Thank you so much for uh, sending that to me and gifting that to me. I really appreciate that. I thanked you last week, but I'm not sure you were here. So I just want to make sure that you know I really appreciate that. That was really neat fabric with the roosters and the feathers. That was so pretty. I loved it. I was so surprised when it came. I was like, what? <laughs> I really, really super appreciate you thinking of me. You know, I'm a rooster nut, so... <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah, that was super sweet. And I, I honestly have never seen that fabric before. That's the first time I've ever seen that fabric. Um, you know what I mean? I'm not seeing that anywhere. So that really was unusual, and I appreciate that. I had not I've not seen it anywhere. So we thought we would uh play with some real leaves today. I did, and also I finished, I worked on a couple of my Dollar Tree, um, my Dollar Tree burlap leaves. I'm really happy how they turned out. Um, this one we had done like the Mod Podge with the napkin. And then I added the Tim Holtz letters and the Tim Holtz girl and then some pumpkins off another napkin. And then um, I went in and added some Finnebar uh, paint over top and then the white areas and the same thing this was a napkin actually i put on burlap paper and then attached that to this leaf that i painted with the finnebar with the finnebar paint too you can see the nice outlined it and then this one again um added a, a mod podge the napkin on and then i added the Finnebar paint to the edges and then like into the white areas. I'm really happy with these. So this turned out really cute. Oh yay, you're home. Welcome home. Glad you were you got that done today. Now you can bug me. Now you can tell me what to do your favorite thing. Good morning, Angie. Good morning, good morning, Gail and Sherry. And Eileen's here to boss me around. She's ready. Yeah, I was happy with how these turned out. So I may do, I have, you know, I still have some. And I may end up doing, like, some jelly plate on them. I mean, because that's pretty neat when you can take, um, you know, a burlap leaf from the dollar tree you know what i mean and and add a napkin and some paint and some tim holtz uh people and letters and look how neat that looks like where you customize it to make it your own you know so you know you can leave it as simple or elaborate as you want but i mean i really like how they turned out the before and afters are pretty cool. Now you can see where the edge of the napkin is because uh, the paint's going to take differently than on the plain burlap, but it is what it is, right? So I'm going to try to wear a jelly plate today with real leaves, but I also I'm going to try putting like some of um, the other Dollar Tree leaves onto the jelly plate and just soak up some paint on them or something. I don't know. Might try that. I haven't decided. It should be fun. We did some of this last year, Kathy and I did, but I used, really, I'd say I used all most of my leaf um, 
all my leaf paper. So somewhere or another I used it. So hi Barbara. Good morning. Um I ended up uh since Johnny was asking me the other day what um what Mod Podge I had and I had the Mod Podge paper. So I ended up on um, these just used I, I went to um Joanne's and I picked up this one, which is maybe what she was referring to. Asked me if I had another one. And I use this Mod Podge to um, to put down the napkins with. Because the other one I was used now, this one, and honestly, they both worked fine. I don't think one was better or worse than the other. Because on this one, I used the uh, this one I use Mod Podge paper for this napkin and then for this napkin I use the Mod Podge regular one and both work just fine I really couldn't honestly I couldn't really tell a difference so uh, if there is a difference I don't know what it is so I couldn't tell a difference so when I used that one and then I used this on these I couldn't tell a difference so other than I guess there was a slight difference I guess the ma the main I guess you should retract that the main difference was I did like it I liked both I think for I think for certain I mean for these this is like how much was this 10 I think ten dollars eleven dollars at Joann's and a thing of matte medium is $24. And if you use a coupon, you get it for, I'm trying to think what the 40% off of, of 24. I can't do math. Um, so that would probably be roughly around 14 or 15. So it's a little cheaper. And I think it depends on what project you're working on. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not, it, it wasn't too bad, really. Um, this, the, the Mod Podge paper, okay, the main difference, okay, the main difference is the Mod Podge paper was is thicker than the Mod Podge matte meat matte. This was thicker. This was thinner and this was thicker. I will say I ended up having to apply more of this than I did of this. So the main difference is between these two, this one's thicker, the paper one's thicker, and this one's thinner. So that's the main. They both worked it work well. They both did the job, but this is thicker, this is thinner. And that's Pretty much it. Hi, Kathleen. I did add, yeah, I did. And Eileen, I was able to add color over top of it. So this one was this matte medium. And I did use the Fenabar. You could see, you can see where I have napkin and don't have napkin, but ah, I used the Fenabar metallic paint and it went right over the napkin. Great. So I was able to add paint over top the Mod Podge, yes. The one thing that you, I realized that I couldn't do over the Mod Podge was I was unable to stamp well over top of it. So and now I'm not saying I'm an expert in Mod Podge. I normally don't buy it, but um, I had trouble stamping on top of it would and I would say with matte medium I don't have any difficulties stamping over top of it and the difference is this is a sealer and matte medium does not have a sealer in it and I think that's why you can stamp on top of matte medium but I was unable to stamp on top the Mod Podge and I think it's because it has a sealer in it. And I think that's the reason I couldn't stamp over top of this or this, either one. 
I couldn't stamp over either one of these. It just didn't, nothing happened. Like it, you stamped and nothing happened. And with matte medium, you can stamp over top of matte medium. So that was another main difference I saw is depending on what you're going to do um, after you use this makes the difference because you can't, I couldn't stand The stamp wouldn't take because it has that sealer. But with matte medium, you can stamp on top. Does that make sense? So there are some slight differences for the money value. But I don't think it's a money value thing either. Well, it is a money thing. But also, this is a sealer and matte medium is not. So this definitely has something else in it. So like, if you're going to layer with some other stuff, I think matte medium might be better. If you're not going to do any stamping on top, then I think Mod Podge is fine. But if you're going to do any stamping on top, I couldn't stamp on this, even with, with stays on. So, good morning, Bootsy. Scrap chick et. <laughs> It is. I'm so I'm so happy that fall is here. You have you have no idea. I am so sick of summer. I'm so sick of the heat. Look, I even got a sweatshirt on today. So it's like 50 degrees out right now. Yeah, I do like Tim's collage medium. Um, I agree. I like it too, for sure. I mean, this stuff works really good. I agree. Tim's collage medium works fantastic too. And I really like Tim's collage medium with the tissue paper and stuff works. It just seems to be really nice because it's less uh, wet than matte medium and Mod Podge really wet. And this is not as wet. And I do especially like it for tissue or things you don't want to be things you don't want super wet. You know what I mean? So, like, if you were going to put it over top of your washi tape, you wouldn't want it to be super wet. You know what I mean? So, I think, again, it comes down to what you're going to do, what you're doing, um, what, what, you're, what you're trying to glue down, and what you're going to do on top of what's glued down matter so really i'd say the best way to do this is is to to use it and then you when you use it and play with it you realize what the product can and can't do because i would have never realized that you can't stamp on top of this so that was kind of a kind of a bummer but you know that was the major drawback i saw was i couldn't stamp on this Oh, man, it was right, Dar. I woke up in the house of 70 this morning. Bandit was shivering. I was freezing. It is cold in here. I did not turn the heat on because I know it's going to be 73 this afternoon, and it will heat up the house. So if it wasn't going to be 73, I was so tempted to turn the heat on, Dar. Oh, man. It was just like I said, I woke up at 70 degrees in the house. It was chilly. That's too cold for me. I keep the house on like 74, 75. 70 is cold for me. But at least heat is more, um, I, sh I should say since we have a gas furnace, it's less expensive than running the air conditioner. So... In, in that in that in that respect respect hi pamela good morning so i don't know what uh what experience you guys have with the different matte mediums uh, or mod podge and stuff like that but i appreciate you giving your input gail because again like the, i think each product has its own pros and cons you know to that's my take on it because i will always get matte medium because i've been using it for since you know with dd i've been using it for a year so i will always buy i will always buy matte medium and because again i could stamp on matte medium you cannot stamp on this because it has a sealant um 
but I also have a few others too. I also have some, um, shoot, what is it? Uh, some liquid text too. I also have some liquid text. So there's all different. They're all, they're all little different in their own way. This is the least wet of all the collage mediums. This was super wet. This was thicker. I'd say the, the Mod Podge paper is more like the matte medium in terms of thicknesses. Um, except this is a has a has a sealant in it. This is not, but the thickness of these two are similar. This was more watered down, and Tim's is is more uh, is, is definitely like a gel, like a kind of like the uh, soft gel. His is more like a soft gel, and and thicker, and less messy. They all have their good, they all have their good and their bad and so on and so forth. Because, you know, I have like a liquid text, which again, this is, is similar to matte medium because it doesn't have a sealer. And this one, though, I like because it's ultra matte medium. This is super, super dull. So if you want zero sheen, this is zero sheen. And then that is has, that has its benefits too. And I also have another, I also have, like I said, I've used, I've used a lot of everything. So it really is what depends on what kind of work you like to do, what products you use, do you use paints, do you use stamps, you know, but it was, it's fun to have all these on hand to choose from, depending on what you're going to be working on. So. And from a art perspective, typically I don't have Matt, I don't have any of my um, like I got the gloss medium to add to that molding paste I showed you last week. At least these don't dry out. Now I have had I have had Tim's dry out before. So I will say the only disadvantage I see with Tim's is um, maybe because it's gel and not, um, maybe because it's a gel medium, this I've had dry out. I've never had any of the other products ever dry out to where it's not usable. I have had this dry out. So I would, my recommendation is when you get Tim's, use it, don't hoard it, don't collect it, use it because this I have had dry out. I know most everybody who is here are seasoned artists, um, but if anyone is a newbie in the audience and has a question, I'd be glad to answer it. Not, I'm not no means an expert, but if you're new at this, I can help you with it. But most of you know a lot of these things. So, so anyway, so I love my dollar store burlap leaves. These were fun. I think... I may end up attaching these inside one of my Dina Wakely journals on one of the burlap pages is what I think I'm going to do with these. Oh, Finn's medium. Yeah. And also a lot of people like Dina Wakely's medium too. Um, Megan, um, shoot, always forget her name. Megan Quinn, I think. It's just three, it's three names. I think that's what there is. Megan Quinn, she on YouTube and she's on Instagram. She, she uses exclusively Dina Wakely, um, her matte mediums and her paste. She likes, uh, Dina Wakely's. So, I mean, I had, that's the one brand I haven't tried actually is Dina Wakely's. So I need to get that and get that a roll. I've used some of the fins. I have fin uh, clear gesso. Her clear gesso is my favorite. And, uh, but I have not tried any of Dina Wakely's paste or medium. So I probably should do that just to kind of get an overall perspective of, of them. Because that's one that Mega Quinn uses exclusively and I, I have not tried. So... Uh, well, I think I should try it. What do you think? Hey, 
Hey, Judy. Hey, Kimberly. How are you, Judy? I haven't seen you around a long time. Well, all that's true, Arlene. It probably depends on where you live. You could be, yeah, you have a lot. Like, for instance, you know, uh, Tim Holtz talks about he lives, I think, in what, Arizona or Nevada or someplace out west. So, where it's very dry where he lives. Um, I don't think it's here it's actually very humid and most of the year i mean it's humid and that but i think my stuff dries out because i keep my house warm honestly i think it, it's the combination of keep my house warmer than most people and um so like especially in the winter like that's gonna suck out like it's gonna make it more dry. we get shock each other all winter we shock each other um I would say that, um, you know, I have moved several times, so I am, I will say that some of my stuff is sat out in the garage, hot, you know, on air conditioned, unheated garages in the process of moving. I think I lost a lot of product when I moved again. So that's the other thing too, if it's in an uh, uncontrolled environment, like I had them in my garage and stuff, I think a lot of them bit the dust because they sat in the garage when I was packing. Hi, Helen. I, oh my gosh, I, I've forgotten Meta Studio's name. Hold on. I'm having a brain freeze. That's why I paused. Oh my God. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Why did I forget? I, I can't believe I totally have a brain freeze. Where is Kathy? I need help. I need her to think for me. Oh, you even have your name on the on your Etsy or on Instagram. Okay. If you don't follow her, she is uh, Meta Studio. She is on Instagram. And um, if you follow her, and she does a lot of um, Mandela's and stuff. She also has a Etsy shop. And she does a lot of the, I tried this and I just was not patient enough to do this. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but I was not uh patient enough to uh try these things so just let you she's on instagram she has a etsy shop and so christy oh my god christy you even have your name on your instagram that didn't help me at all i couldn't even cheat christy i'm so sorry christy i don't know why i had this just totally forgot in that moment. See, Kathy's the other half of my brain, so when she's not here, my brain's mush. <laughs> she helps me remember stuff. And I'm not a morning person, as you all know. Um, I stay up late, and then I get up early on Tuesdays and Fridays. Well, anytime I got to go anywhere in the morning. And so I'm always, all, uh, speaking of or Dr. Pepper, I'm always uh, foggy. Because I'm really a night person, but you know, you can't, oh, you have to function in daily society. So then you just go without sleep. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you. That's sweet, Christy. Good morning, Candy. I see I didn't miss anyone else. Oh, you're dying paper and lurking. Oh, can't wait to see me today. Thank you. That is so sweet. Judy said she has had some rough health issues, but she's emerging from the deep abyss. I am so sorry, Judy, to hear that, that you've had some rough health issues. Many, happy, many thoughts and blessings to you. I'm so sorry. I'm glad that you're um, emerging and getting better and thanks for coming to in for that hang out with us so when i was over at um joanne's the other day getting the mod podge and stuff they had their some really cute halloween stuff and i can't resist um 
Look how cute this ribbon is. It was um, it was on sale. Something like I can't remember. It was forty, fifty. Oh, they had a bunch of stuff on sale. I can't remember. It was on sale. I just don't remember exactly what it was. Look how cute this is. When I saw these dancing skeletons, I mean, seriously, freaking cute. Like, look at this. And her facial expressions are all just a little different. If you look, the little facial, a couple, like their face, these three, their facial expressions are different. Their little legs are different. It looks like they're dancing, having a good time. But this is the cutest ribbon I've ever seen. So I had to pick this up. This is their brand, Place and Time. And it glows in the dark. Just saying. So the fact it glows in the dark. So whenever I use this, I'm going to have to go and take my journal in the dark. <laughs> so I go in the bathroom or something and shut the door so I can see it glow. Uh, I thought this was adorable. Seriously adorable. So I, I picked this up. Right? Like Grateful Dead ribbon. It's seriously so unique. I've not ever, you know, I mean, I've had different, I've had, I've had ones with little spiders that were like, you know, dangling and, you know, different things. I've never had little skellies. The, I just could resist these. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going to use them. I don't even care. They're so stinking cute. They are. I think so too. Um, I really like the variety. They had some spider webs. Um, they had some kind of like ripped up gauzy stuff. Joanne's did. This one is interesting because this brand is, this brand is Joanne's jewelry brand, Heidi and Joe. They have a, a jewelry, um, like they sell their jewelry. And I was like, thought that was interesting that this jewelry company, um, has, I don't open this. Had stencils. Okay, there's no little, no little cheater flat. So I thought, wow. So the jewelry company, Heidi and Joe, this is like costume jewelry, beading, you know, charms, all that stuff that they sell, Joanne's. I thought it was interesting that they had stencils. And yeah, I'm a stencil holic. I love the spiders coming off the 31, just a little hocus pocus, boo to you. And then you get three in the set. Hold on. They're taped. You get three in a set. <laughs> Can you do too loud, too fresh? Yeah, I like this set too. I thought it was super cute. Um, it is, look at this. I had to get this because it's got a witch, spider, and look at the cats. It's got a little cat head. And if you look over here, there's the little, here's like a cat eyes here. And here's another cat. Here's this for this, like a side face one with the whiskers. And that's, a, you know, I mean, it's for this cat here. And then this one has, there's the eyes for this one. You can just see the eyes and then the nose because he's already got the whiskers. And I guess this one's for this one. And like for here, for this this one, I guess you're going to just want to use like one eye. There's a two eye, but it's cute. And it has little stars and the moon. I thought this, these were neat. I've never seen this brand have stencils before. Oop, hold on. And then it also has pumpkins. And I like the pumpkins. They're all a little different shape. Um, all different faces. I like the little... I like this one. It has moon eyes. Little wiggly mouth. This one's kind of looking sideways, which is super cute. I was thinking that too today. After I do some fall leaves, is do some... Do some of these stencils on the plate too. Hey, Colleen. 
Good morning. You're late. I know I'm late. I was cleaning up my desk, but then I uh, <laughs> called. Kevin called, so I had to. I had to talk to him for a few minutes. He had. He just had some updates on what's going on. So. I mean, I've been uh, I've been sharing my sharing my goodies here. So I got and so this was the set of new stencils and this is by Heidi and Joe, like the jewelry company. Oh, where'd you get those? It's Joanne's. Oh my God. And you know what? I watched, where are they? Are they, they were the on an, they were on an end cap next, uh, uh, near right next, uh, next to the jewelry department because Heidi and Joe right. is the jewelry people. Oh my goodness. I walked right by all that. I only saw because it's on it. Uh, on a yeah, I app. missed it. And I just, and I thought this was cute. And so you get three in the set. And oh, nice. I thought that was neat. I love the cats and the cat eyes. And of course, the witch. I mean, look oh, at them. They're all cute. And I like the pumpkins are cool. They're different than your normal, you know, they just look a little bit different. I'll have to go back there. Yeah. And then how do you to see you? You can use your hocus pocus with her. Um, you know, so you can use this as your title, but yeah, even the pumpkins were cute. So that was my kind of unexpected line over at Joanne's. I didn't expect to see these. Oh, that is fun. And That's fun. I sort of threw a lot of my Halloween stuff yesterday. And then the other one I got is this one. They're, Ooh. they're big faces. Not that we can't. I, I could actually probably draw these, but I mean, right. But We're still having, kind of fun though. But with having a stencil, you can use these on the jelly plate too. Yeah. So even if you can draw this stuff or paint these faces, you can't, it just, I mean, you can just use mm. these on your jelly plate, things like that. So there is advantage of stencils. So. Well, that's perfect for the jelly plate. So look at this one. Now they have some glitter, uh, glitter, paper behind him but you can see it has hold on I thought these oh wait a second I'm stupid what are these are stencils oh what are those oh they're heat transfers oh well you know what I might do is I'm cut gonna, cut them out I'm gonna them cut them stencil. out I'm gonna cut them out make them stencils yeah because they'd be they, those would be great for the jelly plate okay I'm gonna take the heat transfers and cut them out cool because this, I want to make, because my I saw this, because this is with the stencils. I'm like, oh, it's stencils. It's right. a heat transfer. No, I'm going to cut it out. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got to cut this out. Cut it out and use it as a stencil. So what happens if you peel it? Is it like peel? I don't know. Maybe just cut around know, it, and then you can use the eyes and stuff for something know, else. Like heat transfers. I know nothing about heat transfer. Like this one is a whole sheet. So this one I could cut out. This one is three separate pieces. Look, I wouldn't even have to do anything with this one because this one's three separate pieces. Oh, is there a hole in it? Line it up. Let's see. I'm confused. Oh, leave it to me to get on the stream. Oh, you don't have to cut it. It leaves a hole. Yeah, I'm trying to look at this one's a separate. There's an eyeball. Let's see how the lips are. Can I peel it? How does this work? So okay. you might just have a stencil when you take that stuff out. Yeah, that's all I'm wondering because it says because if I'm can I use it? It's gonna come off. Is this taped? I'm sorry, I can't see it. Oh, ha. Oh, cool. Maybe you can do that with the other one, too. No, that one's different. It seems like, hold on. Yeah, leave it to me to get on a stream. And like, I don't even know what I have. There you go. Screw that. There's a stencil. Oh, fun. And then okay. use the other stuff for something else. Because I want to use, yeah, I want to heat whatever. Oh, there we go. There you go. Now this one. Try that. I bet those come out, too. No, I'm going to no. cut it. It's sticky. I'm gonna oh, the this one is sticky. sticky. So I may want to add some. I'm going to cut it. I might. I can cut it and maybe add some cornstarch. 
or leave it attached to this thing. What if it would stay attached? I cut through both layers. Yeah, cut through both layers and then just do it. Then you have it. We will make it work. Well, that's fun. <laughs> We're going to make this work. As that's fun. Well, you're, if you want to cut that, I have a couple fun things I got yesterday. Okay. I can show real quick. Um, <laughs> I least it looks like her neighbor. <laughs> oh my gosh, who's your neighbor, I <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I just um I got some new I got some new paints. I got more of the paper artsy paints, Colleen, the fresco paints. Oh man. Which I didn't have how do you keep like, track of them? Pardon me? How are you storing them to be able to go back and look and see what you already have? Okay, I'll show you. I in fact I'll like what's your system? Because I've I've just thrown in a tub. I like that. Okay, so all the paints that I have because I have okay, like the Dina Wakely paints, the Dick Blit matte paints, the little golden paints. I have that um that mini file cabinet from Ikea. And I just put them, I put them in the drawer. They fit perfectly in this drawer. And this is at my desk. So when I want to use them, all I, I don't have to take the whole drawer out. I just pull the drawer out and um, I can pull my paints out. So it's this file, let's see. Let me see if I can. Here's the front of it. It's one of these. See the little mini file cabinets? Oh, now it's a bit, got to get better perspective. Okay. And then there's six drawers. So it's just like a little mini file cabinet. And I keep my, um, the first drawer has my golden paints. The second drawer has the Dick Blicks. I've got the Dina Wakely and the, the new Diane Reevesley paints, you know, and the different bottles are all in one drawer. So they're just there, and then all I have to do is pull them out. Normally, they aren't this organized by color. I try to keep them by color, but I never do. But I wanted to see what I needed, and I was short on, like, yellows and oranges. I like that. Mine are not as neat, and I can't tell you what colors I have or need or anything else. Well, see, this is nice because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can fit about seven across, and then they don't shift around too much. I like that file thing. That's nice. So even if it does get too, even if it gets messed up, it's pretty easy to get them all back together. But then I was able to look. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't have a lot of yellow. These, although they look orange on screen, are reds. Like this is London Bus, red lipstick, cherry red. So I didn't have a whole lot of yellows and oranges. So while we're here, I'm just going to do this now. Um, I got some yellows. I got mustard pickle, which I kind of put them in order when I put them away. But then when I'm using them, I just throw them back in. I'm not real picky, but I got banana, yellow submarine, uh, pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup. Yeah. Oh, and here, here's what got me started is I was using the terracotta the other day, and it was almost empty. Oh, Okay. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to order a new one. And I went to see if any of them, I, there, the other ones are still pretty full. And then I'm like, well, if I'm going to order one, I might as well make an order since I have to pay for shipping. I ended up getting free shipping. And um, I noticed I was light on the yellows and stuff. So, so I just yeah. did that. I, was that. Saying, I, I thought, man, you know exactly what you had. You're doing. Okay, and then I also, I want to try it just because we're trying out different things. And I got some of the, I think Mod Podge makes some. They have a crackle glaze. Oh, I didn't know Fresco had a crackle glaze. I didn't glaze. either. I didn't either. But when I was looking through the colors, I'm like, you know what? I'll just pick up one of those and see how that one works. Oh, wow. How okay. cool is that? Autumn Fire. So, yes, yeah, so I picked up some mostly yellows and oranges. I got this one was uh, vintage lace. It's kind of a creamy color. And I got pansy. I didn't have pansy. 
so I can stick that in here. But yeah, so I just keep them um, right there, in, right next to me. So when I need to use paints, I just pull the drawer out there, right there. I don't even have to take them out and put them on the table. Oh, that's, so that's, it is. It's nice. You can kind of see through the lid. Not many paints. No, and you know what you can do? Yeah. I mean, if, I've thought about this too. As they get lower, you could actually, since it's all the same kind of paint, you could store these. You could store these upside down. Oh, that's true. If you if you don't have any gaps, and then, then they won't fall yeah. over. If you have it like it packed in a area to keep them upright. Yeah, but even this size, you know, if you have a bunch of different ones, you can still keep them in here, and it just kind of keeps them. You can just sort them by color, and they're all right here. So. I only want to know where you bought them. I got those from Ikea. Ikea? Ikea? The storage or the paints? What do you uh, oh, talking about? I don't know. I assume she's talking about the paint. Okay, the paints I got from Simon Says Stamps because normally I get them from Joggles, but they were out of a lot of them. So I ended up, Simon Says Stamps had more of the ones I wanted. Oh, okay. But you got the storage thing at Ikea. That's yeah, the storage know. things at Ikea, the paints, Simon Says Stamps, Joggles. Does scrapbook.com, I don't know if scrapbook.com has them. I've ordered them before on Etsy. No. There's a bunch of different places on Etsy that has them. I don't know if they have them or not. <laughs> Roy. Roy said you could store those little airline liquor bottles in there. <laughs> that they, it would work. <laughs> it would There's work. an idea. That's funny. Okay, so those came yesterday. And then I also, so these just slid right in. Um, Yesterday we had our, our one of our art journal clubs, our Thursday art journal club that meets twice a month. It's Scrappy Chic. And they had some new fall stuff out. They had they they're starting to get, which I'm happy. Um who is this? 49 market. Oh, they got cute stuff. Okay, oh, they have oh, rub ons. I am so happy that Ooh, rub ons are getting popular again. I loved rub ons, and those are neat ones. And this was a pack. How much I see? I, I love the black and white ones. Here it's 49, 49 in market. No, that was the washi tape. Okay, so look at there's eight, eight or six or eight sheets. This one. <laughs> This one, look at these. I love those. Look at those these, fall, the fall colors. These, I know, eight sheets. I don't know, were they like I mean, dollars rub maybe? Rub-ons are going to come back in style. Sign me up. I know, I because I also, because we found, um, Seth After's got some rub-ons. He's got a bunch of rub-ons. So what I did, this is... Um, I call this like my fall journal because I um, I did this a couple, two years ago with Ingrid and we did it in the fall. So it kind of has fall colors. It's the um, clipboard journal where the front and the back cover is a clipboard. Oh, and I then we sewed in signatures. I love that you made. So I just, you know, again, just something I started, wasn't worried about finishing it. But here, look what I, these are the rub-ons I just bought. Oh, man, it looks so pretty on that ledger paper. This is just some old ledger paper that I had oh, in my stash. That's so pretty. Hi, these Lisa. Are, isn't that cool? So these are the yeah. rub-ons. And then the other thing I got, the thing that says autumn, Good morning, this, is sheets of, this is sheets of washi tape. Oh, I thought that was rub on it. I did too. I did too when I got it. And then I was looking at it when I went back to the table. I'm like, wait a minute. It says washi tape. So you just peel, you peel the back off. This is washi tape. So it basically looks like a rub on that you don't want to rub. Right. <laughs> Except it might have the, does that have the, you're going to fussy cut it out if you don't want the white. Well, yeah, if you wanted to put like each individual letter, you would. I just did a square. I mean, you can barely see the white. Yeah, it's the washi you're tape. Pretty it happy disappears. with that. You actually can't really see it. Yeah, so I don't care. I mean, I'm not going to cut out the individual letter, but I'll no, use I the meant, like, uh, The other one, the big the one you just showed, might have a lot of white. 
Yeah, like the, you know, like these really. Yeah, like the in between. Yeah, I just kind of, I'll kind of fussy cut, but I'm not going to be real careful. Okay. It, I'm in curious fact, to see if how clear they are. Yeah, in fact, this one. See, you can, I don't, this is the washi tape on cream paper. And from a distance, you don't really see that it's washi tape. When you look close up, yeah. Okay. But Possibly, but it's can. not bad. I mean, I love those little fall sprigs on that ledger. That looks like it's made for that. Like it just adds a softness and delicate look. <sighs> I know, because I was going through, I'm like, now what am I going to do on these ledger pages? You know, maybe I can put, you know, gesso over them or just use that as a background. And then I, I was go, doing this last night. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is, like, done now. I don't have to do any more. You know, if I find more stuff, I can always put it in or I could do some doodling. And then, let's see, I did that. And yeah, then I did. They're fun, Sherry. They used to be all the rage back when like Christine Tomlinson and, you know, a lot of them, the, the, you know, kind of the mixed media artists of the time. Like she had lots of rub-ons. I still have my rub-ons, what I have left. And, you know, that's the one thing I've gotten rid of. A lot of things I don't use. That's one thing I've never got rid of. Is I know, I always keep my rub-ons. Some of them go bad, but most of them I've been that's able to true. use. But now here, this was a page that but didn't have this yellow stuff. Ons. He'll have rub-ons in his sets, but they're small. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, so these these I added. This was one of the pages of rub-ons. I like it. So I just needed, I wanted something, because I'm like, it needs something here. I and like I thought I was going to use a Posca. Those are neat because they're distressed. Right. So I just, I put these on. Ooh. I cut... I mean, and there's a lot of stuff on here. The only thing you do have to, like, I was real careful, you know, to cut in between the different colors. So there's a lot of stuff on here. So I did the yellow here, and then I just kind of added it here, and it kind of brings the two pages together. I like it. So that yeah. really was not a fall book. I mean, your clipboard book was just, new, like, neutral. Yeah, and there's different. I kind of, because I did it in the fall, I kind of went towards the fall color. Oh, I didn't remember that. Okay. And then here, this is this must have been when we started doing the specimen cards. Because this was in here. Maybe I added this last year. Oh, here. So I had this. Now, this is one of Aaron's folders. So this I had to have added last year. Uh-oh, is it glued in here? Uh-oh. Oh, there. So this is one of Aaron's folders. Or no, this isn't Aaron's folders. This is a die cut from... I thought that was Aaron's folder. I know it's not. It's one of those die cuts we got. One of the die cut sets. Because see, there's the three things here. But you could uh, use... You could was do that this the with... Elizabeth Designs, maybe? Yes. yes. You could do this with Aaron's folder. But I just... Um, I cut out... I used the die cut... And then I put, um, this is some of the tissue paper I got that had the writing on it. A piece of acetate with Tim inks. And then I made a little, here's a little specimen card. This is like one of the first specimen cards I made. And this is just scrapbook paper over chipboard with a picture in the middle. And then this pops in here. Kathy Arbor said, if you have a laser printer, you can make your own by printing on sticker waste paper. I don't really, know. Kathy. I was wondering. I've always. Sticker waste paper? And I think Graftex also has something that you can use that you can use for rub-ons. But that may. I'll have to try that because I'm like, it would be so fun to be able to make your own rub-ons. So then I just like stick this in my little yeah. clipboard. Then you could go on like Etsy and find fall images or whatever. Right. But it, but it needs to be, wait a minute, if on stick, how do you, it's still not going to be clear. I'm kind of confused about the stickers. Is there clear st sticker paper? No, but then you'd rub it on. They must rub off somehow. 
Okay, I need to see this technique, Kathy. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to you'll have to show us. On, yeah, uh, sorry. Can you put that on? Um, put it on your list. On your list to show us how to do rub-ons with sticker waste paper with your printer. I'd love to see that because I'm confused. How yeah, it's going to rub off if, if you're just cutting it out. So what's nice about these journals, if you don't fill them up and finish them right away. Like as you get stuff from people, you can just stick them in here. Like this was a tag from Laura that I like, oh, okay, this will go with that. So I stuck this in here. These were more things I made. And I've just got throughout, there's a little, there's some happy mail and just stuff I've collected along the way. And, you know, here's some ephemera I bought. Look at, here's a guest check with a printable on it. You know, just go, it's just kind of fun to go through and, okay, this is something else that came yesterday. This was my, I got, Dee Dee showed this on Tuesday. The Bibliophilia just came out. It was, uh, it came out on Monday. So I just, I saw it Monday, so I, or Tuesday, I think. No, Monday, because I got mine later on Tuesday. But uh, this is That's that new sticker book. You know, the one that we've, we, there's like. Yeah, she said she liked the other one better. Oh, really? No, I think this one's kind of cool. She said she liked the botanical one better, but then yeah. it's because she likes flowers. So Right. Now, see, I like this one because it just has lots of different, there's lots of different quirky things in it. Like, like here, just on this page, a pickle, uh, a color, a color symbol. A pickle. A bee. <laughs> a pickle in your pickle bag. <laughs> I know. Okay, here's a bee with a skull, a bird in the hand, mushrooms. I mean, it's just, to me, this is just like quirky stuff that, um. What else is in there? Let's see, I don't care for the lettering. That's in the other two. No, the letterings are like on every other page. So it's not all lettering, but, um. Like I would, I could see using the girl reading. That's cute. Well, look at the girl reading. Here's the dog taking a picture with an old fashioned photograph. There are some flowers. I mean, it's just different. That's quirky. It's yeah. The whole thing is just quirky to me. Oh, like, there's a the Halloween one. Yeah. The witch. Oh, I like the looking out the window. Actually, that's not too bad. No. She did a pretty quick flip. I was watching a recording. Look. Oh, that, that's a, perfect. A bottle. I mean, just cool stuff. Oh, a creepy bug. A bug. Bugs, you know, silhouettes. So, and I kind of like, yeah, they, there are uh, alphabet in it. But on the, on the first one they did, like the whole last quarter oh, or third of it was. Uh, oh, there's several Halloween things. Love the mushrooms. There's a skeleton. I know. Oh, mushroom I skeleton. Raven, that'll go on my Poe book. Okay. I mean, here's a creepy goblet. Here's a cat. Um, Weird bugs. So, yeah. So, oh, I have to get this. This has got better stuff than what I thought was going to be in it. Yeah, I think so too. Look at there's a jester. I mean, it's cool. And I got mine on Amazon. They do sell it at Target. So, and they're the same price both places. I mean, this is fun. Here's some more cats standing. Cat standing on the other We're side. Supposed to First. Enable everybody else, not enable each other. Now I gotta go find them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but what I did, I oh, had um what's the name of it? Biblo. What? Okay, it's called the Antiquarian Sticker Book, and it's Bibliophilia. Okay. Anti that's what I needed. Antiquarium. <laughs> Antiquarium. Think of Antiques and Aquarium, Antiquarian okay. I'm sticker to... book, and then Bibliophilia. I'm going to have to buy that. Oh, Kimberly have... got hers on Tuesday. It's a good one, right, Kimberly? Okay. Okay, yeah. so what I did, this was fun because I had, um, here was another art journal page, and this was some I got from a friend. She'd given me a bunch of stuff she had cut out. So I had put this in here, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to need to find something over here. Well, I was paging through this on one of the full pages. You know how they have full pages? Okay, Janice, I'll keep that in mind. If I don't use them, I'll send the letters to you. Yeah, oh. that's if you're interested in them. Cause there's a oh, lot that's of a good idea. I wouldn't use. 
Okay, so you know how they have these full pages with stuff in them? Yes. Okay, just to kind of make this cohesive, I just okay. pulled out I pulled out that sticker and put it here. So now the whole thing kind of goes together. And now this is that page is done. So so yeah, so I mean, it's really fun. It's got the little stickers, it's got the full page stickers, because I'm like, oh, what do you do with the full page stickers? But this was actually two, because this middle part was separate, but I just put them back together. Oh, look how pretty that looks, and that other thing on the right was already there? Yes. Oh, what yeah. it, what was, you, I don't know if you remember where that was from. That's cute. Did you layer them, or was, was it already layered? Okay, this was layered. This I got from a friend. She had a bunch of stuff that she had made, um, one of my art journal friends from our club. Okay. She gave me a pack of stuff that she was getting rid of a bunch of stuff. And there she had a bunch of stuff she made. So this looks like this is three separate pieces that she must have glued onto cardstock and then made, made a little border around the cardstock. So it ended up being one piece. That looks like the colors are absolutely perfect for that. I know. So when I saw that in the sticker book, I'm like, oh, perfect. So and it looks cool because this was this was tea dyed paper from Michelle. Oh, wow. So I've got the pretty tea dyed paper over here. And then on this side around the border, you can see my tea dyed paper. And then this just goes with it perfectly. So yeah, so I'm gonna do some more later today. I'm gonna to go through the sticker book and I'm gonna page through here. And um, I'm trying to think if I, did I pull, I think I may have pulled some stuff out. No, that was in the other book. But yeah, I've got other stuff. I mean, I've got stuff stuck in here to do. Okay. She did put the link in for bees, birds, butterflies. Do we have that one? Oh, I don't think I have that one. Let's see. Do you have that one, uh, Helen? Do you like it? Yeah, did you get that one? So is this the same series or a different series? I'm assuming the same. Antiquarium. Oh, there's that's what uh, Janice just said. She said that's coming out in November. Okay, that's the one that's going to come out in November. Oh, okay. okay. And you can, it's called Butterflies. Okay, I see it now. Butterflies, bees, birds. Oh, I'm gonna have to, maybe that one I'll pre I'll pre order so I'll forget. Cause they don't charge you till you get it in till they get it in anyway. Oh, it's got bees in it too. Okay, Kimberly said she pre ordered it. It uh, comes out February or November fifth. Okay, I, I'm gonna thank you. Didn't know that was I'll pre order that one because you know we're gonna use bees, birds, and butterflies. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, I mean seriously. Okay, so like this page, this was a napkin. Oh, thank you guys. This was okay, it's not antiquarian, it's a different if it's a different brand, but no, that's perfect. Oh, DK books. Okay, oh, it's thanks. A DK. It's a different. Okay, so here's a page I did oh, I where see is it? it is DK. So that's part of the uh, what was the other one? It was DK. Was there another one we had as DK? I don't probably, I don't have it out the right botanist, now. It's the botanist sticker. Wouldn't that, that might have been. Yes, awesome. that must be DK. If you like collaging, you love these sticker books. That's oh, Yeah. Because yeah. like here, like here's, here's my process. I'm only going to, I'll just do like, I go through a page, like here's another journal page, which I put a, uh, some kind of picture on here. Then on here, I actually, this was a napkin that I had. So I glued on the napkin so you could see the writing underneath the journal page. And then this is one of those uh, three folder file folders. So I just put some other, this looks like wrapping paper. This is a doily. This is one of the things from Safia. This actually came from the first sticker book. What's both? Which is Candy said she has both pre-ordered since last week. What's the other pre-order? 
Um, what am I missing out on? Oh, maybe she pre-ordered. Um, maybe she pre-ordered this one in it, and she hasn't gotten it yet. Oh, maybe is that what you tell my aunt or Candy? Um, Hi, Candy. Dan is just saying yeah. that the first book with the hands or sign language for the alphabet. I didn't know that. That'd be awesome. The first book, the hands are on or so Oh, I didn't know that either. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I don't know any sign language. So, oh, I'm gonna go back and look at those. That's neat. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't they either. Would, Thanks, Janice. They would be uh, awesome gifts and uh, to have. And there's so many in there. If you don't have a printer, it is a great way to collage. I agree. I love it. And you don't, if you don't have to fussy cut, if you don't want to, I don't mind. And I'm sometimes if you want the white. Cut, yeah. But I, I don't mind the border around them. Let's see if I can cut this. Good thing I'm doing it. Now, that. this one, this is from the first book we got, the little the woman over here. And then, you know, I just go through. So, like, what I'll probably do now, like, for down here, I want to find something to put down here to go with this little vignette or whatever it is. So, I like your, like, yeah, right. Is that a little flat page, right? Flat all right. Page? This is a little flap. So, I've got. So, what I would do is I would go through here. Like maybe a bird might be cute. I don't think I want to do more flowers, but I'll just like, I'll go through here and I'll find something. Oh, here, here's a little bird. Hopefully it won't get lost in here. Here. I'll have this. Yeah, kind these, of these are stickers that cut out the other books we have that cut out collage thing you have to cut them out yeah. and glue them you know what i mean so these are kind of nice that they're adhesive already okay so here i put this little bird circle here and that kind of i've got something interesting on there and then i love these now see i love these guys i love these i think i'll put them over here just for fun i mean where else would i put them the dancing rabbits. Yeah, like that might be ones that doesn't make any sense. But like here, let's just put this here. Because you don't, this is more of a junk journal and not yeah. a, like one, it's not a all this or all that. You can put dancing people on there because it's not a. No, how cute is that? Yeah, one specific kind, like right. know, farm or whatever. Right. Oh, so. cute. I like the dancing bunnies on there. Aren't they fun? And now see, look at here. I'm like, well, this is kind of boring. But here, I've got some daffodils. It's a good way. Little is... fairy people. And I'll just stick them here. This is a great way to show people how to use this book. It really is. Yeah, you just, this is really fun. So you just kind of go through. This is, I could do, I see, I could do this all day. Don't worry. And then you have the, the, it's a lot of bright, are there a lot of bright colors in that book? Because it looks like, and you use bright paper, so that might work to your advantage. Yeah, and it does, some of it's bright paper, but then I use some, like in this part, it's not as bright. I've got cow prints. I'm sure there's a cow that I could put a cow on here. Well, that's true. You could get a cow from, um, the uh, Art by Marlene had some cows. They have some cows. We have some cows that um, trees have cow calendars, and I'm sure we have some cow calendars. Too. Yeah, in fact, that may be. No, this was, um, I think this was scrap of paper, but I think I still have some cows left from Teresa. So I might get one of those and put it here or put it over on this side. Oh, yeah, the cute, the cute little. Uh -huh. um, uh, or are they from posters or something? Yeah, that's yes. a good idea. So this is just a com this book is a combination of scrapbook paper, plain paper, old ledger paper. I mean, just a whole bunch. This is just like a piece of, of okay. a file folder, a uh, brown, you know, the natural <laughs> fibery file folder. A laughing Eileen. I know the one sign language sign we all have used. <laughs> yeah, at least one. At least once. Um, yeah, leave it to Eileen. Okay, so some of these were old scrapbook papers I hadn't used in a while. Like these were two-sided scrapbook papers. 
Kimberly said you may need to use glue with some of the stickers or not that not super sticky. So you may need to use like a glue stick. Yeah. If they are depending on, I think it also might depend on what you're sticking it on. You know, like if, if the if the paper has any like matte medium on it, like yours yours do not, so they're probably sticking well. Yeah, yeah, there's they're just plain papers. But um so this is the kind of stuff I like doing, like if I'm watching football on the weekend. Okay, I'll take I, need out a book. I need to just pay you to make me one of these books because you're better at bookmaking than me. I can now this is this is interesting. I, I wish she would do this was really a good class because um she got, I don't know if she bought all the clipboards or if her husband made them, but it's basically, it's two clipboards with, um, you know, we did the, this is where we sewed the signatures in, but it's really just two clipboards to make the book. And then you sew the signatures. Her husband drilled, you know what it was? Her husband um, drilled the holes for us in the particle board. Oh, I wish I could get him to her to sell those. I would buy that. I know. If she ever does the class again, I'll let you know because she'll sell the kit with the class. Um, I think I'm trying to remember one of her classes we did. We used our uh, Dremel. I think you can get the holes with the Dremel on the particle board. Otherwise, I've done it just using heavy chipboard. All right, I'm going to try out my Mod Podge sprayer to get this to stick stay stuck on here because this is sticky but that's not okay all right put yourself big now kelly because that's all i had to show was that's my okay now i just meant i'm gonna try out the mod podge spray i bought the other day i haven't used so we'll oh see. you got mod podge spray yeah oh i didn't see that yeah it's all in one glue and sealer same thing no brush strokes so you, they have a they have a spray and so oh, i nice. thought i'd try that out and i thought oh now i can just get this to stick on this backing permanently and then there's my stencil oh cool gail said that dollar tree had some clipboards that size a while back and she was able to get one before they ran out so check out Check out Dollar Tree for uh, clipboards. I don't know how you would, my the clipboards, I think I could find anywhere. My problem would be the uh, edge, the binding thing that she did for you. Now, what I did for um, the, what was it? The, oh, what was one of, of Rosemary's, Jeez, one of her, um, her mask, her things. I'd use two clipboards, but then I didn't have like the thick particle board and I just, I used some heavy chipboard and it stayed together. Here, let me grab it. I'll show you. I don't think okay. I have a cover. Hopefully it does stay because this is heat resistant, whatever. Hopefully we can get this to stay. Oh, yeah. I also might staple it. I'm going to staple it too. Yeah, I should, I mean, if people like the kits, this is a class that would be good for her to offer with the kit. If she offered the kit and a class, I would take it. I yeah, mean, I'll, tell, I'll let her know. She will be doing that. Okay, did, here's the one. Obviously online, so I don't live in Michigan, but I would totally do it. Yeah. And I'd pay, yeah, I'd pay to have that stuff shipped. Okay, so here's the one I did, Apothecary. When she did the Apothecary um, caboodle kit. I used um, a clipboard on for the front cover, and then I used a clipboard for the back cover. And then these are my signatures that I need to to uh, put in. But I'll be able to go through this with my all because this isn't particle board; it's just a thick piece of cardboard it's a real thick piece of cardboard so you could do it without without the without the particle board in there craft the lanch uh-oh yeah craft the lanch and we haven't even gotten messy yet that's not a good sign <laughs> Oh my god, and he got the, the, the jelly training stuff and I'm already having craft the lances. 
I'm trying to find my staples. And now I relocated them. Let's hope I can find them. I lose your sound. No, oh, it's okay. just Doug was showing me something. You scared me. I thought I lost my sound. Okay. No, Doug just showed me something. Somebody we knew. Somebody we knew. It was in the newspaper. <laughs> Had COVID really been, okay, here's, you know, I don't like putting this online. Somebody we knew had COVID in August. They did not get a vaccine and they almost died. I just want to pass that on, but he's okay now. Oh my God. He was a, um, he was a, uh, a goalie for the Red Wings. Oh he's God. Kevin's, Kevin knows him. Kevin went to his school. He's 40. I think he's in his mid well, early 40s. 40 is young to me now. <laughs> I know, I know. So it said he was hospitalized and in intensive care at Henry Ford Macomb Hospital earlier this month Aww. when the virus made it hard for him to breathe and he developed blood clots in his lungs. Oh, no. Legacy, who had yet to get a COVID-19 vaccine when he contracted the virus in mid-August, said he and his oh, wife. God. G had both followed the same pattern of symptoms initially, but that when they were at their home in Novi over Labor Day weekend, her cough and breathing had begun to improve while legacies grew worse. He didn't think it was a big deal. I'm not going to the hospital for a cough. A friend suggested she get a pulse. He get a pulse, one of the things that does the oxygen, which he would clip to his finger and his oxygen level registered 83. We had those. If it goes like below, like to 90, you need to get to the hospital. So okay. his was 83. But um, he's fine now. But that's, he's actually the goalie coach for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Wow. Oh my gosh. Well, Manny, I thank God you're better. So just. Um, 40 is a kid, Darlene. 40 is a kid. Yeah, it's all perspective, right, Darlene? Yeah, just be, you know, if they if they have trouble breathing, get to a hospital. That's all I have to say. Because I had seen something on Instagram. He was thanking the doctors and we're like, oh, man, he must have been sick. But oh, um, I'm so glad he made it. OK, now he said, I'm ready to get a shot as soon as the doctors recommend it. Nobody wants to go through with that. No, nope. nobody wants to have to go through with that. And if you can get a vaccine, get it. OK, so that's it. I'm not going to say any more. But that just like surprised me when I saw that. That's why I went silent, Colleen. Oh, I'm like, did I lose my sound? Oh, my God. No, because you, know, you know, you know how it is. is. I have lost my sound before when we've been streaming. Oh, I know. I have, too. So anyway, so this is so did you see this, Colleen? This is the one I made for the. Uh, I like that one. I do remember track. now you showed it, but when you mentioned it briefly, it, it didn't ring a bell, so you showed it to me. And this isn't, and this isn't um, the particle board. This is just heavy uh, chipboard. So I'll be able to go through here with my all to put in. Here's all my signatures that I've got ready to go. So, but yeah, but if she, I'll let Ingrid know, and maybe that'll be one of the classes she she'll do if people yeah, are interested in getting. Yeah, please let her know. I think I would love to take that class and get yeah. and have the her husband cut the things and have it all like a kit. I would absolutely love it. Yeah, this was this was a fun class. And it was just fun like putting it's all the a, it's pictures. unusual. It's such a it's such a cool album. It's so mm -hmm. unique. And then, you know, how I decorate it cuz she always she has the one she made. And hers um she did kind of a patchwork type of thing on her covers and that's what gave me the inspiration for my covers and again just um different scrapbook papers that i had i so, love it absolutely yeah. so that's what i've been up to all right let's see what are you doing colleen let's see lisa said a whole family of three lisa's her daughter and her three of her children have covid and the whole family's quarantined they live in texas i'm so sorry to hear that yeah, hopefully they'll, um, hopefully I mean, the they'll kids, yeah, I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> well, and see, that's weird. It's, you know, some people, like you said, his wife started getting better. He didn't. So, oh. yeah. 
I'm so sorry. You must be worried, very worried, Lisa. I would be. Yeah, I would be too. All righty. Okay. Do you want to put us the same cap, Colleen, or you go big or something? Because yeah, I'm just still, I'm almost done fussy cutting out my faces here. So I got oh, okay. Well, then I'll show you. This was a little thank you. I ordered some ribbon, and I thought this was a cute little. Oh, that's little, cute. Yeah. That really cute. So I'll put that. In fact, I was going to see. I don't know if I have anything purplish. I could put this in. Uh, put this in here somewhere. Did you get your stencil, girl stencil? I did. Yeah. So there. So I got my club stencils. Um, They're fun. I think they'll be good for backgrounds. Yeah. And stuff. So. Oh, here's something we did last year, Colleen. We did these, and I think the one I have up here I got from Kathy Arbor because she did them too. And then the leaves we did on jelly plate, and then we also ran the leaves through the Big Shot. Oh, that was messy. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. But look at I used yeah. those in here. That was messy and fun. So it was fun and messy. And then the other one, I okay, and then this one I think Kathy Arbor sent me. Oh, yeah. I cut it off. So I use this as just a little tip in so you could see oh, the front cute. and the back. Oh, I like the tippy leaf. Cute. Isn't that fun? And yeah. then this is like, it just kind of matches. The colors were perfect. They are perfect. Oh, I love that. Because she, I think she let us, if you were part of, part of the thing, you got to do the... Um, right, you got to do the, the print. Digis, the digis is part of the per. Yeah. So yeah, so that's fun. So yeah, so maybe we can use some of our de our uh, jelly prints that we get today. We can do some kind of tip-ins with leaves or something. I guess the staples are in the other room. I can't find them offhand. They're probably in the other room. No clean. Up. Oh, that one's actually sticking. I may not need to glue that one. This one came. Oh, that's right. That's good. This one's sticking, so I'm gonna leave her alone. Um, yeah. So I got the new stencils. So there's this one. It's got, uh, I'll be it. yeah, get bigger so we can it's see. Got, it's got the, the flowers. I've already used some of the flowers, already played with that. It has the little, some little circle things. I don't mm -hmm. know the significance of these. I don't know if I watched the video of the girl who made them yet, but there's these. So, and my favorite, of course, are the flowers. I think what I, I might use some of those today. Those will be good for fall stencils. Maybe. Or fall jelly prints. Maybe this one. I yeah. don't know. I can decide. Some of these with this is the arrows could be fun for um, any of the Native American or, mm -hmm. you know. Makes when I think the arrows makes me think of that. I do. I think I agree. I like the flowers. I got the new, I got a few new. Um, he knew things too. I got these yesterday. I got oh, you got these. yours. I didn't get them yet. They didn't have them. They didn't have them yet at Scrappy Chic. I'm hoping they have them on Sunday. So I, I was thinking I would try these on the jelly plate today. Is um, her gloss sprays? Oh, fun! There. This is uh, orchid syrup and sage. Now, are those her new colors? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And she said the uh, last three we, the other three we got, she would have paints for all six of these later. I think there's a shortage of raw materials to make her paint. Mm -hmm. so That's will what be, I heard yesterday from uh, the person at Scrappy Chic said the same thing. There will be, so she will have paint to go with this later. So I know I, I use a good paint too. I got the bird stencils because, you know, I love birds. So. Love oh, birds, can't help it. These were cute, and these she said came out of her sketchbook. She said if you take her, took her quirky or sketchy bird class, she did these in her class, and these came out of her sketchbook to make into stamps. So I'm tempted to make. I'm tempted to sign up for her quirky bird class. That oh, she, that'll be fun. And she said that she uh, did these in her quirky bird class and then she made them in the stamp so i'm tempted to take that class so okay that real well? quick uh, colleen eileen wanted to know what size the clipboards were the smaller oh, okay. one the smaller one is six by nine 
The bigger one looks like it's maybe 12 and a half, 12 and something. I ran out of ruler by nine. So it's like 12 and, 12 and a half by nine on the big one. Okay. I love those birds. I'm going to be going on a hunt for my Tim Holtz staples. I can't think offhand where I put them. And I love this stapler. Um, oh, the tiny attacher? Yeah, I don't know like, what I did with the staples. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're here somewhere. Yeah, me. Um, I move clean and rearrange, and then I lose everything. Um, then I also got her tissue papers. And I also got the, I got Dean, or, uh, Diane Reevely's little funky, I love oh, this Oh, I like those. With the funky flowers. She had one with straight petals. And I got, that one was hers. I got Dina Wakeley's. Um, oh, like the beehive. Kind of like a beehive, but. Hexagon. I don't know what she called it now. I don't see a name on it. She had a name for it. Um, and then I got the flower mask. I have all her masks. I do love Nina Wake's nice. mask. That's what they look like. And then this one, I meant to get this size, and I ordered the giant one. So I'll probably be ordering this because this one I meant to get the smaller, not the bigger. But I thought this would be just fun to have to do little squares on your page. I just like, I don't have anything like this. It's just a big... Oh, you know what I have, Colleen, that's like that? And I'm glad I kept them now. Remember when we, I don't know if you had these, when you scrapbook, they'd have those templates. Here, let me grab yeah, them. I just found them. Uh, there were templates for scrapbooking. Hold on, let me go get them. Right, Kimberly, aren't the birds cute? So I'm going to, so I thought I ordered, I thought I ordered the smaller size, but I ordered a bigger one. So I am going to re, I am going to order this in a smaller size too. I just see this being useful for a lot of, besides putting your paints or your sprays, you could also then use this to write on all the edges, you know, like, you can use this, you can write on the edges. I don't know. And then you could also lay other stencils under, since the holes are so big, you could layer your stencils underneath it. I really felt like this one uh, is a good, um, that's the word I'm looking for. Versatile, I guess versatile because, because of the, how it's made. So I could see this being, so I'm gonna get the smaller one too. I'm kind of glad I got the bigger one because I can see both being sizes being useful. Now, see, like she has big or little, and then Dina's, the Diane's are like this. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, Diane's are like this. Dina's is more like in between the two. See, like hers are giant or small, and then hers are like medium. But so okay. like, see what I'm saying? Like you could take and just go in with this and you can just open them off camera. I'm so sorry. Um, go big look, Colleen so we can see better. See how you could just do little ones within the squares and change the patterns in each square. Like I could see this being really fun to play with. Yeah, okay. if you've done scrapbooking before, um, I know I I'm gonna have to find them. I had like 12 by 12 templates that just had a bunch of squares cut out of them like that. Yeah, so I'm zoomed in a lot. I think that's part of the problem. But I mean, like this one, you could just, like I said, layer your smaller stencils underneath. And then that neat way you think about each little square having a different pattern. I mean, that'd be another way to use this. One thing, you know, I put your paint down in between and then put your stencils and then put these on top of your paint. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I thought this one was super practical. So I'm going to have to get the other size. I love this. I thought it was super. And I loved her squiggly, Diane's squiggly ones. And Those are really cute. Of Dina. She had one more uh, stencil. And the, I love the, of course, I love her tissue paper. Oh, the collage paper is awesome. Yeah, you got to love these. And the handwriting one, 
she was saying on the Facebook video that she likes uh, the black one that's in here. She get, it seems to gravitate towards the black one that's in here. She said she wishes she would have had now more of the black text. I'll show you it. Oh, is it black with white? Yeah. Oh, cool. Hi, Lori. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, everybody that's come in. Yeah, so the... The one that she that she also had some new stamps that were like the, font. Yeah, font, alphabets and stuff. I'm a, I like this one. This oh, one. I love those. I am a fighter. I am full. I'm aware. It's all positive. Uh, I you know, I am electric. I am whisper. I am breath. Those are great. She said she was going. She was kind of into graffiti right now. So she made these in a graffiti style, which is really That's cool. cool. I like it. Alphabets. You get two each. Different alphabet. Oh, fun. I like that <laughs> one, too. Now, you could also layer, you know, besides paint these different squares, you could trace them and cut out paper to fit in these different squares. Mm -hmm. I, like I love the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have we felt that way in our life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this one, um, I like the BFF, laughing my ass off, what the bleep, and, you know. Uh-huh, fun. Those. That's fun. And oh, these again, are really fun. Yeah, she said her favorite, she finds herself going to her these. So um, if she really likes these, she may end up maybe making some more tissue with, with just the black, with, with more black and white lettering. And um, but it's, a, it's a poem, I guess. When it comes to art, it's important to hide the madness. You know, so it's a, it's a uh -huh. poem. I don't care to read the whole thing, but so anywho, so that is just, so there's that one. Oh, and then look at these. These look fun, too. Oh, they are fun. I was excited. She said her bird stamps are her best-selling stamps that she has. I know I have her old bird set. I do, too. The first one, her, I love her birds. May I have the smaller bird set, too, like the miniature version. Oh, cute. Um, hopping in and out and busy. Well, thanks for coming in, hanging out with us and popping in now. I've done that before. It was good to see you, Roy. I know. It's been a long time since we've seen Roy and Judy and and the other Judy. I forgot to say hi to the other Judy. I saw her come in when you were talking. Judy Jewelry and Judy 333. So we had two Judys. Oh, oh, I didn't. I saw Judy Jewelry. And then Judy 333. Oh, good to, see, good to see everybody who hasn't been yeah. here. So the, I love this one, of course. I agree. Sherry says her, her new puppy is the cutest. He is adorable. Who's, who's got a puppy? Dina Wakely has a new oh, puppy. Oh, Dina Wakely's puppy, yes. And it's always chewing on her books when she's doing a book. <laughs> <through a board. laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> she's on her cardboard books. I like this one. This would be some other things we'll be doing in the collage fodder class. Yes. I like so these that. you could just hand cut out. Yeah. So these are all the I love all the, the leaves and florals. This is stuff I want to learn to draw. And here we can use these for fall. Here's an oak leaf. Okay, and Colleen. <clears throat> I'm sorry if my can you hear my sump pump going off? No. Uh uh. Okay, good, because it must be because it's on the other side of the camera. It has been going off. We had so much rain. We had almost six inches of rain here. Yeah, it was. Um, the, what was her name? I follow Instagram. The real Montana. She showed her water thing in her yard. She had almost eight inches of water. Eight oh my gosh! Seven. I was like some like seven and a half inches. She walked out and showed her water gauge. Wow. I was like, wow. We had an inch and a half, and that is a lot because we have had no rain. Yes, because then when you, when you haven't had rain, a lot of that just runs off. An inch and a half was the most significant we've had in a long time. 
So I like the different feathers. Here's some more leaves. These are kind of more, I don't know, what's the word? Ho summer leaves, like Hawaiian makes me think. Yeah, of they that. do like tr look tropical. They look tropical. Tropical. Thank you. Yeah, you know, these are like the tropical. So yeah, so she's got some fun tissue. So I was excited. I always buy the tissue paper. Yeah, her tissue paper. It's, it's her thing and I like it. Like it's her, it's her niche. No one mm -hmm. else. Like, you know, I mean, she, I like that she does the sheets and not the rolls. Like I, I actually yes. prefer the sheets over the Tim's rolls. I agree. And plus hers is tissue paper. Tim's has its own unique. Yeah. It's like a more waxier. Yeah. More his waxier. has its own unique feel to it. Yeah. His is more like, uh, more like a, a waxier than hers, but I like both of that, but I like the sheets. It's just convenient. Yeah. You know, and um, and they're big. I like that they're big too. So that's my haul for there. So that was I got these yesterday, and I, I love those stamps. Them. They're so cute, aren't they? Just then I saw someone did a tunnel book on Instagram with their Dina Wakely book. I'm going to copy and do the tunnel book because that was really cute with the birds all around the circles. Oh, um, cute. Was, and I love to do the tunnel book with them. So, and I thought, well, if we're going to jelly plate some leaves, I would do, you know, I'll use some of her. I haven't, mean, oh, have we, if I used her sprays on the jelly plate, like I can't remember. I'm trying, I don't know. I think, I think I did a long time ago. I don't know if we've done it on a stream together. It's I don't know, terrible. but it'll be fun. It'll be okay. fun to figure it out. I can't remember if I need to do like a paint and then spray it. Or if I, because if I do sprays directly on. No, but it's like, acrylic paint. It's acrylic paint, so it should be fine. Yeah, so I was debating on the order of them. Of what we should do. So I got my big jelly plate out. and All right, I'll get mine. Yesterday when we went for a walk, I was gathering leaves. I think Tom gets embarrassed when I'm stopping and picking up leaves off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're not picking them off people's trees. Yeah. He's a little embarrassed when uh, when I'm uh, picking leaves off the ground during our walk. I don't care. Oh, that's funny. I don't care what people think. The, if I'm picking their leaves off the ground, they don't have to rake them. Right. They're probably happy. Exactly. They don't They're have probably to like take more, take more. Take them all. That crazy lady goes around picking up leaves. So for me, it's like, oh well, I'm, I'll take that one. I'll take that rat. But I don't have all those trees and you know, these different trees in my yard. So I'm going to uh, pick leaves and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, after a certain point, you know, I mean, you're just like, if they kind of think that's weird, who cares? Again, I don't ex I have to explain that I'm John the Tony, my own mixed media artist, because they probably be like, what the hell's that? So, you don't have to explain yourself to people. Nope, you don't. So, here's all of my leaves I gathered yesterday. They will be as crisp as they were yesterday, but... All right, I gathered a whole bunch of leaves on my walk. And I gathered some of this. These leaves, are, the one man has um, shade, shade plants and Ooh. these blew off his shade plants. I knew those are pretty. I think it's pretty. He had the, some shade plants and like cute metal uh things like from tractor supply where you would normally you would use them for water or food for your animals on the farm and he uses them he has them filled with shade plants so i knew that blew off his shade plants so i grabbed that so basically you have oak leaves and different size maple leaves i just grabbed these were off i don't know what tree this was um just they're just leaves. I don't know. So I wanted to grab different ones. I also found it like you know different size oak leaves. Like like the itty, yeah, like the um, shoot, what was her name? 
Um, I have the stencil that has the different size ones. Um, see, like this is, an, is a kind of another, it would be another oak. But you can see the differences, the skinny oak, like this might be a pen oak and that's an oak. Um, this is off some other, other tree. I don't know the name. Oh, definitely. Bootsy said that uh, all the elementary school teachers are always collecting leaves when they're out walking. Heck yeah, man. They're free. They're on the ground. Someone doesn't have to rake them if I'm, if I'm picking them up. So. All right. So I haven't. I, yeah, haven't I, got, I got a few seeds with it. That's funny. Some seeds or something is in there. Oh, maybe that was my corn. I know what this is. I feed the ducks. Oh, the corn. Yeah, it's corn. I, actually, this is the grain. I feed oh, my dog the scratch grain, which is corn and grains. This is the grains. And the grains are like more what's good, healthy form. The corn's more of a filler. And then uh, I use my bags that I can carry the corn up and with, and then get the leaves and put them in. Yeah, it's called scratch grains. That's why I feed my ducks. Okay, so I haven't been I haven't been out walking lately, so I don't have I don't have leaves, but I do have some leaf. I'm pulling out all my my stencil girl stencils, and I have one that I made that have leaves on them. So, oh, cool! Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, here's one I haven't used yet. I'm going to back out my camera. That might be fun. Little birdie. Oh, remember your wings. Okay. Actually, I think we might be able to do this for you. There. And then that way, if I can see what we're doing. And then I'll oh, see. okay. And I'm just, I'm paging you. I'll just zoom in. And there we go. I want to, yeah. And if you need to zoom in a smidge, and then I can see us better with the full screen. Yeah. So so do, I'm using the big jelly plate, so could decide which one. All right, I'm just looking for leaf stencils. Uh, put some leaves tomorrow. Yeah, like wherever you know. I mean, just, if you're at the store or they have the you know, trees and stuff in the parking lot, grab some leaves if they're changed. Wherever you're at, whatever you do. Oh, here, this might this is a this might be a fun one for fall. I like oh. this um, this stencil girl abstract trees might be kind of fun. I think I'll pull oh, that, that would out. be a good one. Yeah. So I keep this is the I keep all the stencil girl stencils in one place. Here's a fun one that's kind of leafy. Leaves. Yeah, it seems like, doesn't it seem like there's lots of new stencils out recently, Colleen? Oh, there is. I love new stencils. Yeah, because I just, well, I got those stencil one stencils. And then I also, I ordered some, uh, who was it? Julie Faye Fan Balzer. I showed those the other day after you left. She has some new stencils out with uh, oh. the Crafters Workshop. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, cool. Yeah, she's got some cute ones out. Oh, here. This is what I'm looking for. Let me set my Dina spray. Hey, there. Okay, here. These these are good ones to use. The Stencil Girl Leaf ones, too. Oh, those are good ones. I have those. Yeah. Those are I like those because of their, their look like real ones with the holes in them. Yes. Also, like that, but... I did, um, the leaves I did the other day. You can use the uh, Tim Holtz die cut leaves if you had that stencil. I don't have that stencil die cut. I'm sorry, die cut. Yeah, I don't have the, and I, sh I should get those. I don't have the die cut leaf stencils. Ugh. 
my goodness. I have some older, um, I have some older leaf stencils. I have to get well, and I have, here's the one I did this. Wow. This is, gosh, this might be 10 years old by now. These are hard to open, like, because they're ranger, like Tim's. Hold on. I'm going to get Tom to help me open these. Right back. Okay. So this is one. This is a stencil I designed in, on my Pazzles machine. And this is kind of fun. It's just leaf out. You know, I did an outline of leaf and cut it out. And then I just put this down with a bunch of different colors. Makes a nice makes a nice print. Move this over, then you can see more. Sometimes it's fun just to flip through the stencils and remember which ones you have. See if anything else looks like fall. This one I really like. Feathers. Two more spring, summer. Let's see. Oh, these are the uh, Tracy Batista. These are some of her new stencils that she's come out with. And then she also has this one. These are older ones, I think, and it uh, it makes it easier to see unless you've used black paint. <laughs> then they kind of get lost, but usually it's very, they usually don't have black paint on them. And then this is another one of Tracy Bautista's older, older stencils. And then I here's Carolyn Doobie's word stencils. I like getting her word stencils. Hey, Sina. That's uh, one of Carolyn Juby's latest stencils. These are Ray. I think these are Ray Messinger. I hope they are. I don't want to tell the wrong person. I think they are. And then I know these are Ray Messinger because she does the, the knitted, the stencils that look like knitting. And that's more of hers with the color wheels. Uh, Pam Carriker. Oh, these are Pam Carriker. I'm sorry. Let me look on here. Okay. These are Ray Messinger. These here, over here, 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 here. These are Ray Messinger. These are Pam Carriker. These are Pam Carriker stencils. These are Pam Carriker stencils. And this is our friend, Paula Phillips. That's her stencil, her book stencil. And this one is Ward. The last name of the artist is Ward. This is a recent one I've gotten. So, all right, I think I've got enough stencils out to work with. Let me put this off to the side. I'm going to get my jelly plate out. Anybody else have their jelly plate out? Going to play along. Anybody working on anything fun? Doing any good projects? Even Tom had trouble opening them. Oh, wow. I was wondering. Not just us. I, I will say because her bottles are um, square and Tim's. Well, his are square. Which ones are round? They're square? Oh, no. Round ones are the delusions, right? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. They're all hard to open. But anyway, he got it open for me. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so what I am going to do is cover up my thing. Oh, yeah, that hand thing. Yeah, okay. It's going to be, it's gonna be uh, it's 
my body and my plan for quite a while. Actually, it's hurting. My wrist is already hurting. My spine is open. Um, there we go. Oh, from Kathy. Kathy's finishing her finishing her color lamp shade. Um, color lamp shade. Yeah, I asked what people were working on. I'm not sure what that. Like she's make coloring her own. Yeah, I think she's. What is? Is it a lampshade that you're painting yourself, Kathy? I'm confused. You acted like you knew what she's talking about. I'm like, I don't know. No, I didn't. I, ju I was just reading. <laughs> uh, Kathleen's working on drawing, thinking of doing Inktober. Yeah, well, how many people are doing Ink Inktober? I am definitely still considering Inktober. You and have to. Dee Dee has inspired me with her rooster. The, where I could do, I'm going to do like farm. I could do farm animals in general, do chickens and ducks because ducks are my other. Oh, that would be fun. Ducks are my other favorite, of course. Oh, the lampshade she won from Dee Dee. She's painting, I think. I didn't oh, know you won a lamp. She won a lampshade? I did see her do uh, some sort of coloring book lampshade giveaway. Oh, one. that's okay. I thought she had a lampshade she was painting. I was thinking I probably in the past maybe have maybe has maybe I've done something like that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna see. Oh, Zena asked gonna... how you were doing. She said she wants to send you something. Hey, Aww. Peggy. Hi, Zena. I'm glad you Hi, popped Peggy. in. I'm uh, I'm doing okay. Like I, I this is uh, at the four week point, and so Monday I get um, I have to go through it all again, and so I will be hurting again, it's swollen and hurting again, and then again once, but I don't have to do it anymore. So then once I get to where I'm at now and the four week point, which I'm doing really good, then I should. It should just heal, and I now hopefully have to ever do this again. Yeah, that'll be good, Colleen. Yeah, so there's light at the end of the tunnel. But thank you for asking. So next week, you'll probably be pretty much out of commission, you think? Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to stream next. I mean, because I'm getting the procedure done Monday. So I, oh, so I definitely can, not Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, I might be able, I can just, like, have my camera off and I can talk on your stream, but I won't be. Oh, able. okay. Yeah, well, that sounds good. That at least makes me less miserable. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you, if you're up to it, that would be great. That would be a distraction from the yeah. from the misery. So I could, because I'll be on like multiple pain pills, so I could be like talk to you and talk to everybody else, and I'll just I won't be able to art. Yeah, exactly. no, and that'll make it. That'll make some time go fast for it you. It will make a good time. The first, the, the second day is the worst. The, the because you're, you know, the yeah. nerve, nerve block wears off and stuff. And then the third, second day is bad. The third day is a little better. By the fourth day, it's definitely a lot better. I may have to have Tom drive me. I think he's going to take off and drive me to the dermatologist. So, yeah, um, that fourth day. Now, is he back to work full-time or just uh, part-time? He's still part-time. Oh, that's good. That's kind of nice. Yeah, they, they don't want um, – they don't have enough office space. They sold a lot of it. Yeah. What I should do, I think I'm going to grab some of my old paints and try to use those up. They never know. So I'll just, yeah, I'll just turn my camera off and talk, and that'll be, that'll be a, a good distraction than just sitting around being miserable. Oh, that sounds good. That works okay. And then Friday, I'll let, I'll let, Friday, if I do, if I can stream, I'll be limited again what I can do because I won't be able to. Okay. Uh, be weird again. Yeah, I should be there both days, I think. So, but I'll try to get on with something. Yeah. Glue or glue or even, you know, something. Like I could work in the, uh, I'll do that next time. This is easy. I'll work in, um, Oh, collage. That'll be good stuff to do uh, next Friday. Yeah, I won't have anything my next new, Friday. I'll have my new sticker book, too. So 
Yeah, I'll work in I'll work in this next Friday because I can do this when I when I hands not focused. Okay, I'll wait because I have I have stuff to catch up on in there. Okay. I'll do so that. that'll I'll be I'll just I'll just uh chat Tuesday and glue on uh, Friday and then the following Friday be like my my two week point and I'll be doing better. My daughter's uh, reception's in November. The member she's going to get, she ended up getting married outside and all that. Oh, that's right. In COVID. January, it was cold. Oh, we were so cold. And so her reception that she had to delay because, you know, because right. now the difference is there's still COVID, but the difference is most people are vaccinated. So they're vaccinated, and if they want, they can wear masks. Exactly. I told her that if I feel uncomfortable, I mean, wear a mask. So, and she's totally cool with that. But she knows I'm older. So, and um, so anyway, so I'm looking forward to that in November. So, at least I could do is take off, you know, I'll still be wearing my brace, but I'll be able to take it off for photos and stuff. Yeah. So she'll do That's photos good. and there'll be, you know, you know, cake and just the whole thing. She just couldn't have a normal wedding because of COVID and she didn't want to wait. So oh, I'm glad she's having it did, now. Uh, you know, the government did all those restrictions, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, like so many people and all that. That's why she ended up just waiting. I'm glad she was able to still do it. Me too. It'll be fun. Hi, Jane. How are you? Oh, you started uh, the Margaret Clodge, but stop. Yeah, it's, it's a commitment. I mean, I'm behind. I did a few. I did like a, a one on screen. I did a few pages after that. I have to be, you know, in the mood to do it, but I am behind on it. But at least it's something you can go back, and if you're not doing it on the official day, it's okay. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just, uh, as long as you just work on it, right? Oh, uh, Zinia, are you on? Am I friends with you on, like, I'm trying to think I can give her my address. Are you, are we friends on a Facebook group or something? I'm not sure how I can message her. She's not on Twitter. Are you on Instagram, Xenia? Okay, I'm gonna use uh, just my cardstock, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find her. I may follow her and forgot. That wouldn't surprise me either. I mean, she might be on here, and I forgot too. I know she's on YouTube. You're in Beth's group? Okay, um, Beth Schuler. Okay, I'm in that group. Okay, I can message. Okay, cool. I can message you there. Are you the sassy crafter? I think she's just under her. Oh, in Beth's group, I don't know. Wait, are you the sassy crafter? Yeah, okay. I'm friends with her. See, I told you I probably was. I forgot. Oh, gosh. Okay, because she's been doing like a lot of the boho uh, fabrics. That's all she was making fabric. Um, ooh, look at these that she made. Oh, these are gorgeous. Look at the dangles. Oh, nice. Oh, I, I'm a sucker for dangles. Oh, you need some really neat stuff. A loaded envelope she made for a swap. I'm way behind. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna turn on my I gotta turn on my notification for you. That way I see you. That's the other thing too. If you don't do it, you wait for the what is it, the algorithm to bring them up. No, I like know. Half the people you wanna see, you don't you don't they don't show it. I'm gonna look to look through that. So follow her on uh, Instagram. She has a YouTube channel here as well. I think this time, so I got some color on there, not a lot. So it's not a whole lot. So what I think I'm gonna do this time. I think I'm gonna put down a little bit of paint, like a cream, maybe a cream color paint, and then spray her sprays into it. Just find like a cream. Cream, 
cream would be good. I need something to make that those show up a little more. Ivory white. Try this one. Is someone post Xenia's a YouTube channel if you wouldn't mind for her so people can follow her? Yeah, let me get it. Yeah, we like to promote channels and Lori, Junk Journal Lori, she also uh, she also has a YouTube channel. She has a really cool technique with her. I'm going to leave what's down here. I'm just going to leave it. She has a cool technique. And Eileen owns a couple of her books, her journals she sells on Etsy. And she makes these cool fringy, um, these cool fringy pages. With uh, You'll have to check out her YouTube. She did a demo for us one day showing us how she did the fringe paper. It was really neat. All right, so I'm gonna put a thin coat of the cream this time. Okay, there's Cena, and I think Helen put it down also. Thanks, Helen. I appreciate that. So, yeah, check her channel out. She's streaming. Yeah, if you see anybody watching, throw in their throw in their links. Yeah, and Junk Journal Lori, if you can put her link on. Thank you Helen, on that one. She's fast. So Lori's Lori has an Etsy and Eileen will bear. Oh, it made the paint move. Weird. It made the paint move. Oh, what made the paint move? The sprays. It Ooh. made the, the paint disperse. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. Let me get my, oh, my sprays. Well, that's interesting. And then it I'll made see. the paint. Look. Oh, well, huh. Check this out. So I put the paint down and then look. Let's see how it dispersed. Oh, wherever it sprayed, it dispersed it. The paint, it moved the paint. Oh, wow. So that's going to make some cool, bumpy. Whoa. Okay, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next now. Okay, I'm excited to see this. It dispersed. It dispersed the paint. I want to kind of do a rust. Where's that one leaf? I'm going to use this one this time. I use his. Let me tear this off. I'll make two. I don't know if you've noticed, Colleen. Have you seen a lot? I've seen more rust colors around. Rust colored what? Rust colored everything, like rust colored nails, rust colored paint. I just feel like rust is like a new fall color again or something. Wow. Well, Eileen is the Eileen loves rust. She'll be happy about that. We have the I didn't know that. I mean home decor. Or are you talking about Yeah, art? like home decor. I've noticed it because um it's you know, I get I see like nail things on Pinterest that pop up. And lots of like rust, rust color nail polish and stuff. Really? Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe that we'll see more of it like in decor and I'm stuff sorry. like that. I'm, I'm sorry. Eileen's mad at us. Eileen's. Uh -oh. Hold on. I was working. Um, I was designing leaves. Okay. She, uh, last I saw, Lori's journals are amazing. I said that. I said that her journals were amazing. Oh, use some of Tim's new Halloween sprays. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Spraying up there. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, I can do that next. I totally didn't see that. Yeah, if I've been looking on down on my plate trying to to arrange my. I did get uh, my leaves. I did get last year a cool um, rusty snowman, like you were saying. Rust was in uh, like in uh, yes. before, and he like he has like a little thing on the back to prop him up. And I bought it at Menards last year, 
I oh, did buy him. He's super cute, and I just sent him. Uh, you can send him in. Well, I sent him. I I sent him over by the fireplace, but you could these these probably about I don't know three and a half foot tall, something like that. You could sit it anywhere. It's super cute. I wouldn't put it outside. I think it's a type of thing. If weather got to it, it wouldn't work or wouldn't last very long. But yeah, I use it as I did get a rusty snowman, which, is, which I really did like. I got some uh, pumpkins, rusty pumpkins, a couple of years ago. Oh, rust! I don't know. I saw like a rusty pumpkins. Yeah, I'll take I'll pictures check, of I'll them when I get them out. Because that's where Menards is where I found my rusty snowman. Huh. Okay, so you can see it. Just this is very faint. It's not very. Thanks, Helen. It's very subtle, but you can. Um, let's see if I can get my camera. These let me turn off my autofocus. The splash he did show. Let me turn off my autofocus. Is the autofocus on or not? Let's see. It's off. okay. Let me turn it on. It, it, it it's very. These colors are very soft. This green and this 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 syrup. It's actually very soft. I think they're soft, delicate colors. But you can definitely see that's not the leaf. That's the leaf shape. But what caused that is where the spray, when the spray hit the paint, it did cause it to look so it kind of looks like it has holes in the leaves. That's the effect of the paint and the spray. The holes are, not the veining. The veining is the leaves because none of these have holes in them. It's very subtle, but that's pretty cool. I guess it's the uh, acrylic and acrylic. I gotta get my camera to refocus. Okay, this Ooh, it worked. Here, this one will look, you'll be able to see better, hopefully. Uh, maybe. Okay, so I will, let's see. Hey, Hi, Tina. How are you doing? I should be. Oh, look underneath. This is going to be better than what I showed you. Hold on. Oh, nice. This is this is the fun part. You can see it's on there. Oh, look at those. That paints. That's an easy way to get the leaves painted. Yeah, it is. I could use the leaves later. It, oh man, look at the. You can see all the veining. This is almost like skeletal leaves. Oh, that was unexpected. I love when the unexpected happens. Some of them are better than others. Ooh. Oh, look. that's cool, Colleen. Okay, that's cool. Let's see if I can let me again I turn off my autofocus. Yeah, let's see this. I have to turn it on and off because you guys know the camera freaks out and it drives people crazy. It drives me crazy. Oh, so that's know. a good idea, Lisa. Okay, see how it, it actually left us by putting the, with the, the paint down and then the spray mm -hmm. and then the leaves. Look at the skeletal effect. Oh, freaking cool. I love that. Okay, now I gotta be let this dry so I can think about what I want to put on top. I not screw this up. That's very cool. You can see every and when I do a pool, you'll be able to see it. I think I'm gonna do a I don't want to do it on tissue, but I want to use a piece of computer paper, it might make the meaning shot more. Oh, the back. Oh, thanks, Julie. Uh, I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. I'm not. I'm not worried. I've stopped. I thought you know I've got a nice, nice giveaway when I do. So let's see. Maybe like a. I need like a. Maybe like a. Do I want a dark color? If I use a dark color, it will should make this show up more, right? Or should I use a light? Let me think. This is where I'm not very good at jelly planing. 
if I throw a dark color green, I'm hoping this will make this pop more than if I do a light color. Let's hope. Yeah, it might. Yeah, it'll, uh, it might. It may contrast more. I know it's been a while since I jelly plated. It always takes a little I'm bit. I'm not to get very back good at it. I'm, I'm definitely not that good at jelly plating, so I don't do it enough to be good at it. That doesn't help matters. It's nice. I just I like having the papers okay, too. To go to. I want to make sure this is good and dry, so I get a good pool. What? You used Tim sprays on it. Yes, that's what you said. Does that look Halloweeny? Do I? I don't know if I want it to look Halloweeny. I'm going for. I'm going for fall. Doing, uh, Halloween. <laughs> okay, Halloween. I like that you would use in a rust color. Oh, I'm going to, after I do these, I'm going to do the Tim spray with the leaf stencil and see what happens. Now, what do you think? Rust color a spray on it? That I have a rust color Tim spray, or I don't know if I have, or do I want to go over with the paint? There, this is starting to look better. <laughs> Nyleen said now. Whoa. Well, she goes to the doctor today, and she's, like, kicking my she's butt. She's all feisty. Oh, she that's right. She did go me. today, didn't she? She did. How, how will it look fall colors now? Now it will look like fall colors. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you want me to use, what, flickering? Okay, I'm going to do this again, the same thing I just did, and use the rust color that Lisa recommended, and then I'll try it with Eileen's, and then I'll do it with the rust, and then we'll see which one is better. So I like the idea of the rust. So there's jack-o'-lantern, what, flickering. Oh, here. These are here's not very dark. The dark ones. Or do you want me to use a dark one, like a gray? I want purple. That's not called. Broomstick. Broomstick is a copper. Shake them up. Here, mix flickering candle. Oh, I need to get Tom to help me get these shook. All right, not purple. All right, All right, let's go flickering candle. Because the flickering candle is like a gold. Um, the like, jack-o'-lantern is like a copper. There's the NSB tomb. Broken broomstick. And then um, fossilized amber. Oh, jack o' lantern. The fossilized amber. Is that one of his his sprays? Yeah. Really? I have. I know I'll have it in a just oxide spray. I probably won't have it in the stain. Let's see. Flickering. We've got flickering candle, crooked broomstick. Bubbling cauldron. I'm just going to do a spritz of bubbling oh, cauldron. Clogged up, I think. Okay. This is one of, the one of mine that got clogged already. All right, so I'm going to pull this off. I may have to just paint it on. Put this down here. And then let's see. Right. I think we can... Okay. 
just make a little bit of water. Okay, so there's that one. There we go. Let's mess it up. Let's go with this. Go. Well, slowly. Maybe we can combine them. Mm -hmm. Brave. Let's be brave. We'll try rest spray with the cross uh, cross uh, artist. <laughs> so, let's try. Let's do this. Scary as it may be. Okay. There's rust and jack o' lantern. Pray it works. <laughs> right, it looks good. It's gonna look like watery co water colors. We didn't go over with acrylic, and I'm not sure how that's gonna be either. But right. I'm, ner I'm nervous. This works. Ah, I'm getting something. Ooh. <laughs> yeah these are uh, the one thing these sprays are from his halloween collection and once they're gone they're gone so if you are interested in them get them because they're not they don't have them forever well. I, so i i just i know she wasn't feeling well kimberly so she might be watching and lurking because she's not feeling well oh yeah and in fact i wanted to say hi to brooke hopefully Hopefully she's relaxing and and watching. Ooh, that looks pretty good so far. There's this is the mica. This is more the rust. Let's see what this one looks like. I have to do a section because this is a giant jelly plate. So okay, I'm happy. With okay, you. I'm seeing this is interesting. Seeing so our See, the, this is the pumpkin, but then down here, the doll part is the rust. This is the bigger piece of paper. Yeah, I kind of want to clean this off. I don't know. I don't see much of the veining with the liquid. I probably need to go with paint. I mean, it looks cool. I will cut this up and use it. But uh, you don't see much of the veining. But I will say, I do like the rusty. I love the colors. I, I like, like the blending. Pumpkin. I like the pumpkin with, with the rusting or rusty hinge. I actually like that combo together, but it did not pick up all the, the leaf stuff I wanted. But I must say, that's a combo I wouldn't have thought to use. These could be cut up or, or I could use, I have the leaf. Oh, your leaf die cut. Your leaf die cut and die yeah. cut that when it dries. Okay, so let's. Okay, but this is the spray. Leave what's here. Okay, in here, the leaves that it you is see watery. is the spray. And then the border outside the leaves was the leftover paint from the stencil. Oh, I like it. It was still on better. the plate. Okay, you want me to do that again, Kelly, so you see yeah, how I did it? Yeah, so and I'll pay attention. I like yours okay. better. Here, let me just, let me clean this up. Okay. All right, so what did I do? I took, first I took acrylic, like different kinds of acrylic paint. Maybe, okay, here we go. Let's see if I can remember this. All right, let's take some different acrylic paints. I had some rust. And a little bit of rust. And then I had some, some softer yellow. I'm trying to use, these are old paints I'm trying to use up. Rust, so. rust what? It's called rust? Uh, what's it called? It just looks like rust. Oh, red oxide. Red oxide, and who makes that? That one, this is one of the little Blick sample things. These are just a bunch of my old paints I'm trying to lose up, use up. All right, red oxide. So red oxide and Naples yellow. Okay. And then a little bit of... But now I need a big piece of the paper we bought. Canary <laughs> yellow. You know what, I'm, I'm just... And then I'm going to throw in a dab of... 
it's like mixed media. Or jumper or something. Be just almost perfect. Raw umber. Just to get different colors on the jelly plate. All right, so. Ooh, I can tell you it feels slippery. <laughs> I just put it over what was down there and it's slippery. Okay, so here's, I rolled out my different colors of acrylic paint. So it just looks like there's a bunch of different colors on here. And I want to try so there's not those splotches like I had last time. All right. Okay, so clean that up. So here's, then I took. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. I was thinking that too. This will make some good background paper to stamp on or cut up. I agree. Oh, it'll be perfect. I the love the colors. colors are, that was a fun experiment, just trying those colors together. Okay, so then I took my, my leaf stencil that I made and I pulled up. I'll do this on the back side. I just pulled up the leaf. The, so I pulled up the leaves. Oh, individually in the holes. You're soaking it up in the, the holes. Right, so it comes okay. out like... This isn't too bad. I just need to add some more on top of it. But I did get some of the veining that was down with the green. I just need, and you can still see the the sprays, like the pits, the pits that was made by the Okay, spray. now Colleen, what you could do with a contrasting color a spray is put leaves down on that paper that has color on it that you just did, and then okay. spray over the leaves. And then that color will show underneath in the form of a leaf. On top of the rusty paper? Or the green one I just did? The green one. Okay. So do like a maybe a red oxide or something. Okay. Like put leaf down, spray red oxide, and then put that paper down after you take the leaves up. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, so here's my first pull. I get all these leaves. Oh, those colors. Oh, that's so pretty. And that's just throwing the oxide red, maple yellow, canary yellow, and some raw umber and just spreading it out all over the page. Oh. Then I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the, um, the stencil on here with the paint underneath it. And then I'm going to take the sprays. I'm going to do some green and then they I'll do some, beautiful. I love those colors. And then I'll do some orange. And what was the lightest spray we had? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, flickering candle. Okay. All right. So now I lift up the stencil let me put some paper on here to pick up the sprays and then I put the paper down and hopefully this tip you'll get you'll see the leaves again Oh, and even here, you're getting some of the, this, I'm cleaning up the, uh, the stencil where I sprayed the paint. Do I have an exercise? Woohoo! Okay. And then, I'm like, I'd be, I was like, I have no idea. And you said burnt umber, red oxide. Raw umber, oh, raw wow. umber. Raw umber, red oxide, maple's yellow, and a canary yellow. All right, raw umber. All right, that's a whole lot different. Yeah. That's definitely lighter. Okay, so here's my cleanup from the sprays. That's even cool. Now let's get let's get this stuff off.
Okay, let's see if it worked with these. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm like looking. I'm like, Bert, Sienna, Frost, Sienna. <laughs> I'm like everything but the everything with the. Uh, let me look raw umber. Okay. Looking. Here's the half page. I kind of got some leaves out of there. Surely, I got it in some kind of some brand. All right, or it's just kind of a brown, like a brownish gray. And I'm sure I have. Yeah, just some kind of brown, Colleen, to make to give it a little brown color. And a. Okay, this is okay. This is working. Here we go. And then here's the the final pull. Let's see. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh so did God. you see how I did it or were you getting paint? I was getting I saw the first one where you but I didn't see the second one. Okay, oh, so you saw you okay, after you do the first pull, you leave the stencil on. Oh. So you're just pulling up the paint from the leaves. Leave the stencil on. So put kind of a lot of paint on and then you spray. You spray the, um, so your stencil's on with the paint underneath, and then you take your Tim spray, spray it over, lift up the stencil, and then take the pull. Okay, that makes sense. Here, I can do it. I'll do it with you. I'll do it with you. Yeah, just use some kind of brown. Use a brown that you like. Yeah, I'm going to improvise because I can't find, I cannot find that color. I might have it, but I'm going to have to keep looking and I don't want to keep yeah. this. Yeah, and just don't use too much of the brown. Okay, so first I put on the rest or the red oxide. I have Naples yellow. Okay, and then I do the Naples yellow. And then some canary yellow. It does look like they're floating in a muddy puddle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, canary yellow. And then some brown, not too much brown, just to something to make it dark. Okay. Okay, so then we take our brayer. I have a little bit of bright yellow in there like you have. Pretty dark. Let me add the cadmium, cadmium and I, yellow in between. And I do this, I put the brayer side to side to get those clumps away. That looks pretty weird. I know, I should hear. <laughs> that does. I'll leave it. I'll just leave it like that. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I'll leave it like that. Okay. Do you have a leaf stencil? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Okay. Is it pretty wet? There's a lot of paint on there. Yeah, it's pretty okay. wet. Because you want it to stay wet while the stencil's on it. Okay. I don't know how you get the smeary effect, but that's pretty cool. Just back and like that. Okay. Just like I, might, that. I think I might want more bright yellow. Okay. Yeah, put whatever colors on you want. I always feel like the my I lost my lost that bright yellow. Where'd I go? Shit. It's right next to me. Lord have mercy. I won't do the pull till you get your stencil and your paper on. Okay. All right, I like the yellow in there. 
Yeah, like roll it and then swish it. Roll it and then swish it. Roll, swish. Okay. And then swish back and forth. And it kind of makes a orange. Yeah, that's swirly. Orangey, and then you get the red, the yellow. All right, boy, talking about like no two alike with jelly cream. Okay. And I'm just going to roll the extra on this tissue paper. Is yes, that's what I'm doing it on my, I've got a cleanup paper over here. Color, like you don't want to waste it, you can roll uh -huh. it off and then tear that or cut it or stage it or do die cuts out of it. Yeah, so I waste it. Okay, put your stencil down. to be more solid like yours i have one that's not solid too okay is it oh i oh yes that will work okay that should work because what you're going to do okay so now get your paper out and do a pull and try to get as much of the paint up as you can Oh, that's going to be pretty. And then get another piece of deli paper to get the end. Or a piece of uh, cardstock or something. Just to get as much of the, pa the paint up as you can. Okay. Okay, so that's when, when you think you got most of the paint, then do your pull, but leave that stencil there. Don't let that stencil come up. Yeah, don't let the stencil come up. All right, I need the stencil. Okay. Ooh, these are good. Oh, these are gonna be awesome for if you have other journals. Let's see if I can get a little bit. I may need to do another one. I still got a lot of paint on mine. Take another piece of jelly paper and go over again. Okay. But but make sure that stencil stays there. That'd be nice just to use for something else. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to and get the blobs off. Okay, so now leave the stencil. Okay. When you get when you're happy with all the paint that you get on. Yeah, I'm gonna get some of the stuff off the edges. Okay. Now, okay, let's see what color is down there, like that orangey color. Okay. Now use the Tim sprays so that paint will pop. You could use spritz some green. Not over the whole thing, just in places. All right, so you're using a Tim Green spray. Let me go grab one. Yeah, that bubbling cauldron. Oh, I thought you meant the regular one. It's not the mic. No. Oh, okay. A bubbling cauldron, and then do the um, and just spritz it in different places, not over the whole thing. <laughs> my nozzles are clogged. <laughs> I'm surprised mine weren't, aren't. Yeah, mine are all clogged. Hold on, I got extra ones. Hopefully this one fits this bottle. I don't know, they're Huey. They're Huey ones, hopefully they fit. Yes, yeah, so I'll be doing after the show. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm clogging uh, bottles or caps. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to do the jack-o'-lantern. Oh, here's my flickering candle. He was wiping the tips off when I was done, and they still got clogged. Okay. So after you put all your different sprays on, just keep them away from the colors you used on the paint part. I think all of them might work, though, because they're, they're pretty iridescent. And then after I'm happy with the sprays I've used, I lift up the stencil. So there's still paint that was underneath the stencil. And then the sprays are where you pulled off all the old paint. And then just put your, your um, paper down. So when you're done spraying, lift up your stencil. Okay. I just got to put the flickering candle down and then... Okay, now lift up. Do you have paper ready? Yeah, try to decide if I want to. Are you using tissue paper or computer paper? Uh, cardstock, like computer Card paper. Okay, maybe I'll use, um, ooh, it looks pretty. I'll use. Okay, press that on a sheet of paper. You might get a print from that. I was just thinking that this one. Yeah. Okay, now put your paper on top and press it, rub it, press it for a while. What is it? Five, three minute massage. And then do your pull. There you go. So I just picked this up the other day. They had the 50% off the um, Paper pads, I get this for 10. And I, I oh, thought this that's is the paper pads. I didn't see those at mine. I think they mine were, were all sold out. They were on sale, and it was like, this one's 14 by 11. I thought it was a neat size. I got this. And that's the size of these jelly plates. Oh, doy. So it's perfect. Okay, yeah, so I rub it real good. 10 bucks. Take a peek. Make sure it's going to pull off. It should. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. I should get my thing out. Smoosher. My smoosher. My smoosher. <laughs> the smoosher. The smoosher thing. Okay. And then just lift it up. Let's see. Oh, that turned out pretty. Did it turn? Oh, that looks really pretty. Eh, mine's okay. I'm not thrilled with the background color, but I can put more. I can, I'll do more stuff on top of it. I'll probably put, do more leaf pulls on top of this one. That looks pretty colorful. I like the orange. I like the orange center. Yeah. That, okay. That, that is cool. And I still see uh, leaves down. I might, I wonder if we can get another pool. You might be you might be able to put like a uh, Titan buff or a white and to pick up do like a cleanup print. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I like this this half turned out good. I like this side better than this side. I'm gonna see if I can get another pool. Yeah, a thin coat of white or Titan buff will get, should get you something. Okay. Is anyone else trying this along with us, following Kathy's instructions and giving it a go? Ooh, I think it will. Look, you can see the. Oh the yeah. Peeking through. I think yeah, it's gonna really work. push on that good. It should come through. Okay, Helen, have a good weekend. Thank you. Bye, Helen. Take care. All right, I'm going to run upstairs for a minute, Colleen. I'll be right back. Okie okay, dokie. Okay.
Yeah, that red oxide, I was roll, with rolling that off. The red oxide mixed with this um, ivy looks kind of rusty. It almost does look rusty. Oh, I was rolling the extra off my paper. Or off my roller, I mean. Paper. Good Lord. Wait a minute, look. You see that? I mean, that actually looks pretty good. Oh, thanks, Eileen. See if we get anything off of this or not. Ooh. Oh, it did work. I got some of it off. That looks pretty cool. Let me hold this up. So you can see the you can see the extra paint that was still down. And then when you put the what was color was this? This is uh, light ivory, and then it made a, a pretty like almost um, peach tone to the back, which you can see all it did pick up all the edges. I have some other. Yeah, I actually really like that. I have some other stencils. I mean. Let me grab some of those. I also have the Sean Petit one I like. It's smaller. It's not going to fill up the whole. It's not going to fill up the whole thing. Oh, I have. Um, I wanted to play around with. Ooh, maybe I'll play. Hold on. I have a squirrel stencil. I wonder how that would be on t on top of this one. Where is for a stencil? Hold on. Pull that out. K Kathy found some stencils and had little squirrels on it. And I was like, I think I got squirrel stencils. So I pulled those out, which would be great to use for fall. And this here is just I covered it up. All right, let's do this. Let's put down that brown. Maybe maybe it's a smidge darker brown. Ooh, this, burnt, this has a red tone to it. Just put that down. Oh, raw's in again. I don't have raw umber. All the million paints I have. How does that happen? Ooh, I've been wanting to try out this one. This is a pretty color. I haven't tried this one out. Canocra on gold. I'm going to use that on a different one. Not this one, but I'm going to use that on a different one. Ooh, here you go. I'll put a little bit of, um, this is really dark, this Blix, this is really dark. If I never can squeeze out the paint because it's too, the bottle's too hard to squeeze. Hold on, let's just throw this in here too. Let's just see, it's going to be a big brown, brown whatever, but I wanted it for the squirrels. Huh. 
this is a weird texture because some of these are really thick, heavy body, and some are, and one is not a heavy body and feels slimy and weird with the thick and the thin paint down. It feels slimy. All right, so I need to put my squirrels down. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to use a corner of it. Okay. And then I'm going to soak up the squirrels here. So we're going to soak up the sun. We're going to soak up the squirrels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing at my own jokes, but I can't help I just thought of that. <laughs> so I did go um we were walking there was like walnuts and um acorns and uh there's another I can't remember the other nut that we saw we were walking but there's all three different kinds of nuts that we found walking and yeah it's fun uh, fall is fun because you just have something different to look at, right? I don't care if there's paint on it because that doesn't matter. I'm just going to do this. Pull this up. I just want this one area. Ew! Okay, got my diet coke. Ooh, cute, cool. Now, what stencil was that? Oh, the squirrel. Yeah, you inspired me because I knew I had some squirrel stencils somewhere. Of course, oh, I should have reverse. I have green squirrels with the <laughs> chip in the other way around. But um, see, and I was gonna, I was gonna come back and say you can use this with any kind of stencils. That is cool. Oh, yeah. I love that. I can, uh, I'm going to have green squirrels. <laughs> you know what? You can tear, you can make tags out of those or something. That's cute with the acorns. Uh -huh. yeah, I I, could you inspire? So I was like, I have some. So I grabbed, I went and uh, found my squirrel stencils. If you show me the one you're going to cut up. And I was yeah. like, I, and I was like, I got to use that. I forgot about oh, I it. I love that. Look at the little squirrel on the tree. He's cute. He is cute. I could go over top, but squirrels are typically brown. <laughs> so they don't have to be. <laughs> mine are going to be green. I think I got this stencil a while back. I think I got it over at um, Michael's, I think. Like, whatever. You know where they have the few stencils they have hanging up, like, Buy the paint like folk art and oh deco art and stuff deco like that. Art. I think that's who makes this one. Cool. That is cool. Okay. Okay. Let's just put them on here. You have. Where are you, Kathleen? We have black squirrels here. And I had never seen black squirrels until we moved to Michigan because all the squirrels I saw growing up were gray squirrels. We had gray squirrels in Chicago. I don't know if we have black squirrels here. We had gray in Chicago, black squirrels here. I do see some like red squirrels once in a while. Oh, I think we have red. I think that's what we have. I don't think we have black squirrels. Okay, so you red. have... And the she's in one. New York City, so red you're in the black. Yeah, red and gray squirrels here. Yeah, here we have black and red. I think maybe some gray, but definitely in Chicago is mostly gray. So, so you can make black squirrels, and it all depends on where you live. Mm -hmm. 
Is anyone I having, that. Does anyone have any green squirrels? <laughs> <laughs> For St. Patrick's Day. These are peach. <laughs> Green squirrels for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, there we go. I like it. That's what we needed. Here, let's just, since I got so much paint on here, I'm just going to you know, plop a leaf on there. Interesting. They must be migrating from somewhere. Now I have some Dina Wakely stamps, but I don't know if I want to get acrylic or not. Can I use ink? Let's see, I have some, I pulled those out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's going to look good. Oh, that will look good. You can see that. that ink for cool. what? Like to do the pull? Um, to put, like to get the images on the, on the jelly plate. So I have these. Oh, yeah, probably, because that people put you stencils at stamps. I wonder if I could stamp. I think you can. I think you can. I think people have stamp on the jelly plate and then it comes up. I mean, try okay. it and see. I bet you could. I what I, okay, what do I need? Yeah, I forgot what I need to stamp with. <laughs> Eileen, Eileen said she doesn't have many squirrels. The iguanas chase them away. I bet they do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could put paint on top of that because there's already paint on this paper. Let me try. Let's see what happens when I just. White ones are mainly in a small town of something and they have tour buses that come see them. Oh, you have like albino squirrels? But that they're normal squirrels for you? Oh, are they th like the polar bears? You have polar squirrels. <laughs> okay, I like that. Kimberly said Eileen squirrels are pink. That almost looks like a that almost looks like a tree, but because of the brown paint that was <laughs> down the bottom. I really like this. I do too, Colleen. Now here's what I did. I took one of these, you know, that still had a white background. And then I sprayed some of the Tim sprays and just put it down and pulled it up. Oh. So that works. So you could actually, for that first pull, do sprays. You don't have to do acrylic paint, I don't think. No, when I did, no, I don't think you, I don't think you would have to. I did it because the sprays didn't show up very much. At least the col the new the colors I was using. Oh, okay. See, and that's why I did that because I didn't want it. I didn't want the spray to cover up the leaves. I knew you'd be able to see through it, but it did make nice background color. And here I'm gonna end up with some cool cleanup prints. Cleanup papers here. Papers have their have their place because you can you can tear them up, you can stamp on them, like add things on top, and you put them in your junk journal. So I was just going to say that Animus pages to your junk journal. They they have their advantages. You can make jelly print journals. I've made some jelly print journals. I didn't do that again. I really like that. All right. You got a little bit it. off, but that's okay because then you don't have a blank. Again, you just got some color down when you put something else on top of this later. So, mm -hmm. um, okay, where are my baby wipes? Right there. And the green. And some yellow. Ah, uh, here. Let's see what happens. Now, Brooke is super great at jelly plating. You know, yeah. What colors to use? 
He gets lots of crusty bits and knows what colors to use. She's, Brooke is recreation, recreations by Brooke on YouTube. If you can <laughs> search for that, you can follow her. She oh, Eileen really said, good. try some black paper with the chimp sprays on the jelly. Oh, okay. And, yeah, because they'll be all shimmery. Oh, I like it. Okay, where's my new one? I cut the eyes out. Let me find one I just cut it, was cutting out earlier. I'm going to use black paper. Where is it? This artist stream where I start losing everything. Hold on. Oops. There it is. And I could try the pumpkins too. It does look good with the orange and on the black paper. Mm -hmm. And then here's just the Tim spray sprayed on the jelly plate, and then you lift it up with the paper. Mmm, art foamies. Art foamies would be good pressed in there. I have a few black tags, but I don't know if they're... All right, I want to do... I only do partial pumpkins, unless I do... Oh, unless I do it this way. All right, I'm going to do the red spray. I'll do it this way. The green spray. And the yellow. And then I'm going to take my Dina Wakely uh, journal and put it on here. Where's the other? All right. Oh, hopefully this will. Let's do this. Oh, don't you clog up already? I just switched this nozzle. Oh, darn it. I forgot to put the stencil down. Okay, now it's working. Ooh, I just sprayed everything to my left. Because my hand just slipped. <laughs> and then I just sprayed everything to my left. Oh, my. <laughs> All right, that's a mistake. Oh well, my tags already have some color on them because I just sprayed everything to my left, and that's where the black tags were sitting. All right, let me do. <laughs> that's entertaining. I'm going to do that again. I wanted to put that leaf stencil down. These are even. I'll do the the black, the darker ones with the cats. Eileen, we'll try that. I really only need it spray in the center and not everywhere else. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. We'll use it up. Ooh. Oh, cool. This blob was just laying underneath, but it kind of looks like a cauldron. Uh, oh, it does. Oh, wow. That was accidental. <laughs> the accidental cauldron. The accidental cauldron. Okay, that's cool. That's I like that, Colleen. That's, that looks neat. Now I'm going to have to get more black tags. <laughs> I can't remember if these were koozies were or anything else. I don't remember. Okay, that looks cool. Okay, let's try again. 
yellow. Yeah, I like this, Arlene. And orange. And green. Now, stencil. Don't forget the stencil. Here's the stencil. Oh, that's neat. Boy, that the real that mica looks so good on there. Mm -hmm. All right. Got my stencil. All right, let's see what we can get. Yeah, are those Diane Reevesley tags, Kate, Colleen, or did you just make those? I didn't make them. I definitely bought them. I don't okay. know. Okay. Now I told you, Dina's. Yeah, these are big ones. They could be. They could be hers. Okay, so I told you. Did I tell you Dina's suggestion? Instead of buying the tags, you buy one of the journals pull out all the paper, cut it in half, and make those into tags. Then they're the same as the ones you buy. Oh, that's right. And it's you get more tags for your money than if you divide, if you buy them as tags. So I did that with one of the smaller journals. What is it, the six by six by eight or something? One of those smaller ones. Yeah, like, the one, the, like the one we were planning on working in. Yeah. Okay, so will black show up on black? Probably not. Unless it's shimmery. I don't know. Will his, where is it? Where's the other one at? Empty tombstone and crooked, what's well, this copper and black? And use, maybe use that for the witches. Where'd my witch go? It's on the floor. Okay, I have to say it is hard to do in the journal because you can't get it's hard. You have to. It's hard to get in there to press on the paper. You can't just lay the whole journal flat. I was thinking that if you yeah. use that book, yeah, it was to it, and you couldn't see the impression of the leaves, but. Um, <laughs> she probably did. Dragon would be good with these. I mean, I, that's good. Oh, for, yeah. That's always good anyway. So it turns out, you know, unexpected. Okay, it'll work if you use an individual piece of paper because then you will get the outline of the leaf. But putting the whole journal down, you just get, you don't get everything. Oh, well, that's what she said. That's what she said. What? Dina the smack and drag in the heck out of them. Oh, for saying Gina, they probably did of Dina because she said you get more for your money to use the uh, oh, journals and don't is. buy the individual uh, <laughs> text. Got it. Okay, I'm going to get the eyeballs and stuff on there, but. All right, so let's try. Let's see if these are show up. I like this oxide red. I think I have it. I think I have a Goldens and a Liquitex one too. That looks pretty cool. I'll be using that. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Even like this where it picks up the sprays on the edges. Uh huh. Just for just as a a perk. See if we can get the witch. I have to do. I think I end up with missing half her broom. Oh well. Let's do this yellow. <laughs> Look at her. Woo! <gasps> That's a fun stencil. This is this is a fun stencil with the witch and spider. Oh, 
Ooh, red axe, just red oxide and yellow might end up being a good leaf. Here's the moon. Here's the kitty. This is uh, these two was crooked broomstick, crooked broomstick, and empty tomb. All right. So let's do this. Ooh. Let's get some. Let's get some of this out of the middle. And pull this up. Let's just let's just get some fun. Let's see, let's put this on the back with my pumpkins. Oh, just to clean it. Wait till you see this, Colleen. Okay, I cleaned um, my stencil that I used on top. I you. I cleaned the stencil with the paint that I used on top to get it on the jelly plate and then cleaned it off on the black paper. Oh. Oh my God. Isn't that awesome? Oh my God. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> Who would expect that? I know. So take your stencil, don't put any plate on your jelly plate. Put acrylic paint over it, lift it up, and clean it on a piece of paper. That is so unexpected. That is cool. Okay, now I got to get these up. Hopefully, these will work. Dang. So, this is the reverse spraying it with Tim Sprays. Pick up, you know, this from the stencil. And then I put the stencil down. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. Lots of fun stuff today. Yeah, it is. That was unexpected coolness. I was not expecting it that good. And that was just red oxide and yellow. Canary yellow and red oxide. I like that color combo. That was awesome. Oh, this turned out too. Look at wait, look at this one. Wow, you had a lot of paint on there. Look at all these extra pools you're getting. So this is the paint that was left from the stencil that I pulled up and cleaned. And what was left on the plate was the sprays that I had sprayed before. So the background's is the sprays, and then this time it's the acrylic paint that's the leaves. Fantastic. Cool. So just just play around. I mean, there's all different kinds of all different kinds of stuff you can get. Here, let's see if I can fill this in some with leaves. See if I can get this one up. A little bit. Let's see. I know the surprises and you can't if you try to plan it you're unhappy because it's it'll never turn out how you plan but whatever you get i think is always cool i always love what happens that even was, if it's not what i wanted that was totally unexpected and freaking cool i know i love that that's like a whole there's a start for a journal page a fall journal page i mean on that black <sighs> i love that
Oh, this is fun. I haven't played with my jelly plate in so long. This has and been you're fun. Good at it too. She's you're you're super good at jelly plating. I don't know if it's that I'm good at it. I just go for it. I just yeah. try a bunch of different stuff, and I don't care if it turns out or not. And Kathleen said she likes the surprises. Yeah. Yeah, and it, I mean, there definitely been. I mean, some surprises. That was neat on the black. Ooh. Where did that come from? Here's one of my. Ooh. Right. All right. Let's see if I can try to do what you did. That was cool. I'm going to be a copycat. Okay, so here was an accident where some of this die cut, you know, that I did the other day, Colleen, got into the paint. Now I'm just cleaning up the, the Tim stuff. And I think it's going to, look at it, it's filling in the cracks. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kind of fun. And then if I do it the other way, on the other side, it'll get the stones. It'll just lift up where the stones are. Yep. Let's see. Oh, that's awesome. So you just use temp sprays to work on your frame some more. How funny is that? You yeah, I just... Um, I mean, a bit of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just like cleaning up the extra. And it... Um, oh, that's fun. So I guess you could like... Spray this down on your craft mat and then lift up. Like a smack and drag type thing. Fun. That was fun. Whew. Now my stencil's much smaller, but I'm gonna attempt it. Oh, it should work. Yeah, it's much yeah, and now I'm gonna try to put it in the on the black book. Okay, you know what you can do, Colleen? Pick up all the paint and just put it on like one one side of the page since it's a small one. Okay, that's a good idea. So what I need to do is pull up, do sprays. No, I didn't do the sprays. I didn't do anything. I just pulled everything up, pulled up the stencil, and cleaned the stencil on the book. Okay, now clean the stencil on the book. All right. Yeah, throw it in there. I was confused for a minute. No, clean the stencil on the book. Oh, never mind. It's stencil on the book. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Totally not paying attention to what you're saying. Hold on. Well, I'm going to do like this then. Hold on. Oh, well, that's cool too. That ain't bad. Now take your stencil and stick it between two of the pages. Okay. Or just press it down on the page over on the other side or something. Let's see. Let's do another one. And then take a take a clean roller. If you have a roller that's not wet with paint, and then just roll it carefully. Hopefully the paint's still pretty wet. I've seen her do that, Kathleen. I love when Kathy Arbor does the the jelly plating from the okay, it works i don't have as much paint on mine but it still works so but right it, but it still works so ha i just jelly played the back of my book okay so cool. but the other one turned out pretty good though to now look at that one so that was the one where i just stuck it down on the stencil so just reverse where my leaves are black where your black was around the leaves you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying okay so i need more paint yeah because mine was i had put a pretty because here's mine. I put a bunch of paint on. Okay, I need more paint. That definitely tells me that. And then the color that's inside the leaves, the reason why it's not all black is because that was from the pull I tried to do before that didn't work. So there was a little bit of 
spray on the paper. I picked up some green, so I must have picked, I had green spray from Tim's. Oh, cool. Um, still on it. That's right. Green came in. Oh my gosh. I have got, which you see all these papers we have, Colleen. I have, I don't have as many as you do, but I have enough that I can have stuff to play with. So yeah, look at what I wanted. We got a whole slew of papers here. I was wanting uh, some fun papers just to have on hand to collage on or stamp on or, you know, just mm -hmm. with all colors. Okay. Even like my tissue, my tissues and stuff like that that I use to, I'm just going to keep up. all these because these can be collaged on anything. You could collage and stamp on those. And so if you have a day where you want to work on a fall layout, but you don't feel like getting your jelly plate out and being messy, you know what I mean? You've got, you've got, you've got all your stuff already ready for you. And the nice thing about tissue, too, it disappears. Also, you could use some of these to make some little mini journals, like little mini accordion journals or something. I think I'm going to make a tag journal. Oh, these would be perfect to cut tags out of. Yeah, she's going to make them. She bought some black tags. She's seen some of uh, Tim's. I think people made some black tag journals. That's what she's going to do. Hey, Joan. Hi, Joan. All right. Pretty clean now. So now I'm going to. This might not work. I don't know if it's going to work like yours because mine has an edge. Hold on. Okay, now wait a minute. What am I doing wrong? Take a pull up. Pull up the stencil. Oh, I, pull, I should not pull the paint off on the tissue. No, you should have. Now pull up the stencil and then clean it off. Clean on it your, off. Duh. Clean it off on here. Let's try that again. Oh, well, I can't get this in my thick as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Don't, if you do it again, Colleen, don't pull up the paint. Just pull up the stencils while the leaves are still there. That's why there's not a whole lot of paint on the stencil. Yes. So you put your stencil down. Put your stencil down, put the paint on, and then pull your stencil up and clean it. And then the leaves are left. Yeah, because I'm pulling the paint off with the tissue, which is why. Right, I'm you don't need to do. Okay, got it. That's where I'm. Okay, there's what's left. Okay, cool. So that's not too bad. Okay, do it one more time okay. with the red oxide and the yellow. He's got a whole bunch of starter pages here. Uh-huh. Slap her down. Ooh. I said we got a bunch of starter pages, so the orange and stuff will work well if it's a Halloween and not fall at all. Right. That's pretty. That's yeah. actually pretty. I like how the, the leaves show up. Get some of the paint off of here, and now we've got something to go by. Yeah. Woo. That shows up good on the black paper. Okay, now put your stencil down. All right. Keep your book ready. Put your stencil down. Roll red oxide and yellow over the stencil and the jelly plate at the same time. All right on top. Okay. Yeah. So I was doing it and then laying the stencil in. Okay. I'm sorry. I wasn't really paying. I was looking at stuff. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Oh, my God. I have, like, 20 sheets here. I'm going to die cutting all afternoon. Yeah. These will make great die cuts. Journal pages. 
Okay, then roll that out and roll it all over the, the stencil, like edge to edge over the stencil. Okay, now lift the stencil and then put that on the black journal page to clean it. Oh, nice. Joan's been die cutting all afternoon. Die cutting is tiring. Yeah, die cutting is a, is a chore. It really is. How's it working, Kelly? I'm trying to see. This is a little not as cool as yours. I think it's because I have edges to my. It's not. Oh, edges. to the stencil. Yeah, I'm going to try the mask pieces. Maybe that'd be better. Let me try it with the mask. Oh, yeah, try the mask. But then pick I mean, up. It's not terrible, but I mean, it's not like it's okay. You know what I mean? It gives me a base or something to start with, but you need, a lot. <clears throat> you need a lot of paint. So I'm going to try more paint and I'm going to try the mask. Okay. Pull up your paint. Pull it. Do, do a pull up. Now take a blank piece of paper or deli paper to clean up all that stuff. You might get some leaves. Okay. Oh, hmm. uh, thanks, Kimberly. See, and this just goes to prove, like, the best things happen with accidents. Like, it's hard to, ooh. It is like a cut out. Like, it mm -hmm. has to cut those out. Those are pretty. It's See, really, I like that color combo. It is a beautiful combo you came up with. Let's see. I'm going to go. I'm just going to go with uh, dark brown instead of the cream just to mix it and up. See what, yeah, see how it looks. I bet that'll look cool because you'll get it should stay bright just underneath. Yeah, I need more paint. It's the whole Blick container that ugh, hard to squeeze out. I just wiped off what I did, didn't I? That's the downside. Once you start, you kind of you're kind of committed. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty. If it all pulls up, it'll be pretty. Yeah, really massage it in. What did Paula would be like massage your? Yeah, I mean, I think, what did she say? Three minute massage. Yeah. <laughs> she used to say that. I always thought that was I know. She had some good some good sayings. She did. She's she's still around. She doesn't have to, guys. She just doesn't uh Yeah, I saw she posted. First time I've seen her post in like a year on Twitter. Yeah, it's been a while. Hope she's doing she's good. T shirts or something she was posting about. Well, I got a mambo jumbo of stuff, but that's all right. Because these, again, make good backgrounds for other stuff. You know what that would be good for? Die cuts. Yeah. Die cuts and stamping. Also, just put stuff right on top of it, too. I mean. Mm -hmm. Stamping and stuff. Okay. Okay, I set the mask out. I walked in with them. Hold on. Lord have mercy. Me and losing things. It's it's my second hobby when I'm screaming is to lose everything. <laughs> I always lose stuff in my desk when I'm streaming. 
because you end up like piling so much on top of each other it's easy to lose stuff exactly i guess so many piles right now uh i brought out the mask i'm gonna do it does anyone else have this problem where you can't you lose your pile stuff while you're working i think lots of people do oh, Lee, so frustrating i could worry about the edges right now because that book doesn't reach there anyway uh, okay. so do this pile Let's oh, I got some tissue paper, some mixed media papers, with the colors. So, easy. I did have several to do last year, and then, like I said, this is, I used them all. So, I was like, well, this would be good to have these in our, to have these in our stash. Mm -hmm. glue down while working on things. We do this. See yeah, Kathleen good. says she does it all the time. Oh, just for any like any kind of colors or whatever, just to have them come from. That's mm -hmm. just, you're messy, you're messy versus, you know, you may not want to be messy. All right, I'm going to try and do a cleanup print, see what comes off. Okay. This pile. I'm going to try. I'm going to put down some of this onto the black paper since it's still supposed to be cutting this out. Ooh, squeaky. Mm -hmm. It's what brayers do. Yeah, it's squeak. <laughs> squeak. Yeah. Screech. Screech. Yeah, I think it's going to be time to clean my my brayer. All right, let's do. Yes, I will. I will, Eileen. I will. Now, let's see. Let's do these. Have you used yours yet? My what? Eileen was saying when you get a chance over the weekend, try the matchbook die you just got. Did oh, you get one too? I didn't buy it. Okay. because <laughs> all the paint didn't pull up oh that's funny oh, but you know what that'll be good to spray through colleen yeah that's one wacky pumpkin that's okay take it take the black spray don't take up don't take up the stencil yet put just keep the black spray right on the stencil and then do a pull up do the black um, spray. The yeah, do the black spray just on the eyes and the nose and the mouth and then pull up the stencil and then do a pull. Okay. And I used to try it a few times and cut it. It cut through each paper I used. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it this weekend, Eileen. <laughs> Wait, did you pull up the stencil? 
No, I know. I did that. I smushed a book on top of the. No, spray it and then pull up the stencil and then do the pull. I know, but that's kind of fun, though. Okay, <laughs> kind of like the creepy face. Kind of looks. <laughs> I kind of like the creepy. Okay, it's no kind of cool. Okay, let's try this. Okay, you want me to slap the stencil down on the book or the book onto here? Just a book or the piece of paper onto there. Okay. Mm. <laughs> creepy, creepy. I thought it's kind of cool too. <laughs> I mean, it's I really, I mean, they're all cool. <laughs> I could just cover it all up, whatever I don't, you know, whatever we don't like. So, oh, that that's interesting. Maybe I bet a piece of paper might work better. No, it like it, it has a, um, where did texture come from? Oh, oh, okay. What? So, you know, this was the heat thing. Uh, oh it has this crispy cross like texture on the oh, back cool. and so because it has that look i got there's a crispy cross texture oh that's cool uh on there let's see the cool. camera's on autofocus and doing but see there's like a crispy cross texture yeah, that's kind of neat uh-huh <laughs> I like this. This it, it almost looks like a, I don't know burlap. I don't even know. This is kind of cool too. I'm thinking this. Oh, it is kind of cool actually. Now that it's drying up a little bit, you can see the face. It's like a, a creepy pumpkin. It is face. creepy. Let's try the. Okay, I like. I say I don't know if I. I don't mind it. <laughs> well, that's good. I don't mind it. A smash pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eileen, it's smashing pumpkins. There you go. Tom loves a smash pumpkin. It's the boy in him. He um, loves it's the smash pumpkins. Does he like the band smashing pumpkins? Yeah, I think he has watched that where they fling them on the, the the slingshot thing. Is that what you're talking about? No, the band Smashing Pumpkins. They were around the in band, the nineties. The band, yeah, okay. Smashing Pumpkins. If you play one of their songs, you like if you play their most famous song, you'll know who they are. No, no idea who they are. They were around nineties or early two thousands. Seems to be a brighter orange. Okay. Oof. They were a band, Smashing Pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna have to YouTube that to see if I can find it and hear they sound like. I've never heard of them. Just having fun filling up my book. Okay. Oh, even Eileen hasn't heard of it. Thanks, Jen. She's not heard of it either. Huh. So, what do I do? None of the face came up, but I don't. Like I said, just kind of a, I'm going to keep going. I like having backgrounds already done. Mm -hmm. No, I think American Bandstand was already gone. Oh, look, a face came on there. Look. Oh, cool. That looks like a ghost face. Oh, you could go around with the Posca to make it look. more defined. <laughs> that looks like a ghost it face. Does. It looks like a ghost. I see faces. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is they're on American bandstand. Huh. I still got paint left on here. I don't have to worry about paint getting on my book because I don't care. 
Oh, I know you were, Kimberly. I know you were, Yellow go. Oh, I like it like this. Oh, that's gonna look cool. Let's give it some. So some of that iridescent stuff should be on there because it was uh -huh. on on the stencil, and we'll blob some yellow so it looks like he's glowing. It's glowing. Okay, I'm just having fun, just making backgrounds in this book at the moment. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, your, that's what this turned into. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I love this. <laughs> He's happy to see you. Then I could just c cover it in more. Uh, it's it's like it's not as splotchy because I went there sensible, but that could just be me. And then look, then you still have, still have the glow. Uh huh. It's cool. I don't know. I'm thinking. I could have stuff coming out his head or you'll have fun with that one. Okay. I think that's going to be fun. Now I got to find a little mask. He's so happy. <laughs> He's so happy you're here. Okay. Where's the little mask ones that I had the little mask ones. I didn't have to do anything. Where is those? I can make another face. I'm just making faces. Let's see. I then we'll probably get off of here. So, it's already lunchtime. I don't want to eat though. But these actually still, I'm, as these are drying, these are pretty neat. So I'm. Oh, I, I guess, see the cat. Yeah, those turned out cool. There's a cat, cat in the moon. There. And these are going to be fun to play up. Yes. Um, all these will see what we see what we can make from it. Oh, that will be fun. Yeah, I think there's a different. I love the witch. The witch is good. She's a good witch, not bad witch. That was not as cool. I like the moon with the cat. Yeah, I think that I like the the moon and the cat. I can't pick between the moon and the cat or the witch for the favorite. Yeah, I agree. Those oh, are both God. really good. And that color was empty tomb, I think. Okay. I like that on the black. Yeah, I think those. I think that I like better than the yeah, than the orange. I like the orangey colors. I like the empty tomb. I'm still trying to find the eyeballs I had from earlier. I don't want to close this yet. Hold on. They're here. I want to think. I might make. I may make a little journal out of these. A little fall journal. Oh, you could do that. Maybe I'll do one of the jelly print journals. We started a fall journal last year. I didn't finish mine. Um, I just kind of like a fall journal. We used jelly prints and made a. Did we? Yeah, I found one. I never did much with it. I mean, you can grab it real quick. I found that I was looking through my fall stuff. Okay, I haven't. I only looked through Halloween. I haven't looked at fall yet. It was like a. Deli, we had a bar, I had a, a like a barn for a cover. Shoot, hold on, it's on my table. I meant to show that today. I found it when I was going through my fall stuff, and I was like, you know, I didn't do anything with this book other than make the book. Oh, is that one we made with a paper bag? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that was it. We made it with paper bags. Okay. 
Of course, I can't find it because I have stuff piled everywhere. I can't find it, but I did find right at the moment. I can't find it, so when I find that, I'll leave it out. But okay, I'll look for I'll look for mine. And I can't find my eyeballs to make the other face. Okay, well, after I clean up my desk, I'll be able to to get the other mask eyeballs. But oh. that one, okay, that just makes me happy. I love that. So now I just have some of these are sticking. I even put some wax paper in between here because um, they're so wet. When I closed my book. In all fairness, hold on. And then we'll go back and do something with them. Yeah. Now if I cover them up, I don't. You know, it doesn't matter. I've had this book for what two, three years. I don't even know four years. Hell, I don't even know. Hey, did you order these stencils, Colleen? Anything we do with it, it's going to be better than doing nothing. I yeah. did not. I'm like, I'm happy with how they look. Let's see, is that dry? I think the rest are dry. I think it was just a couple that was wet. I can't believe I've missed. I've lived, I've lost everything. I got stuff on my chair. After I use it much when I'm streaming. Um, Stuff on the right, stuff on the left. It sounds like a cheer. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. I have stuff everywhere. This was fun to do, though. Um, this was I, fun. I enjoy jelly plating. It's, it's fun. Yeah, because we didn't expect, I mean, we didn't have, we weren't planning like, oh, we had, they were going to do this. We just kind of played. And I think that's what you have to do. Agree. It's just to just to play and look at the happy accident you had. So, uh -huh. oh yeah, and then we got enabled by the sticker books. So I love those. Yeah, and, the sticker um, books. I had did have one other new book. I forgot to show it. It's more of a. Um, let me make myself big. It's more of a um, how to than a um, not. It's not a step by step book. It's it's more of this artist. She made the one, the eyeball stencil and the tree stencil that I got. Do you remember the from Stencil Girl that had the eyeballs and the tree and and I thought it was really cool. She she uh, this is her book and she just talks about um, how her journaling process and she basically has the the seven elements that she goes by with every layout which i thought was pretty neat so you who have, is the author of that book um i don't know how to pronounce it oh rakit had or rak rak hadar yeah she's on youtube as well and she had the stencil girl ones she talks about with uh, her, with all of her, she has a really neat, magical way of, of hers. It's, it's almost like collage, it's collage, she uses collage and paint and pens, but she has almost a um, magical, in fact, like, look, here's one that she did in her, like in a black journal. And so she painted this white body and then and then she has little uh, stuff within it at the bottom, like a very, uh, so her, basically she, she does her background. She always adds lines and color. She has intention. She calls it magical coincidence and image and text. And that's what she does on every layout. I think the magical coincidence is, is kind of like what we were doing today with, with jelly plating right you know, something that you know stuff happens that you're like i didn't plan on that but i like it and it's perfect yeah and she goes through her the product she uses the uh paint sticks the oil paint sticks so then she goes through her elements of intention and how she connects with her inner child and and how the process and i liked it she like she has some really neat pages i don't know just something i know they're really busy but there's something that's intriguing about them there is I, they're it's a cool book yeah oh thanks thanks julie we appreciate you being here julie um it just oh, yeah thanks for coming julie 
Yeah, I, I think it's just I, her art I find to be fascinating. I think because you just sit there looking at it, like because your eyes just keeps like rolling around. This is what I was thinking with her pumpkin face. See, I have something like growing out of his head. Mm -hmm. I, I thought this is a neat book. I've had it a little bit. I just haven't showed it, but it's it. She talks about a process, and then. Um, she does have a few step by steps here. Um, I like her style. I love her style. She makes her all her books herself, and even this, like this, probably would have been a stencil. You know, what I mean, with the watercolor, but then she filled it in with other stuff. She just uh, the way she thinks. I can't even imagine getting into this mindset of. Uh -huh. And then over here, she has houses and this girl and a tree and some birds. And this is all that's all collaged down. I love how all the colors blend together. They're but they're so different. They are, and like this, she collaged the like the trees right, but then she took uh, like her Posca, and then she finished out the trees um just i don't know something about her work that i just i don't know if i could I, I could ever create like this but i i don't know it fascinates me her work does um it's just like here look at it i love the people in the house um it's like i don't it's I dreamy don't know how to, Genie, maybe no, that no. It's like it's dreamy. It looks dreamy. like dreams to me. You know what I mean by dreamy? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, here she has the houses over here. She has this boat in the water, but then she has this person here. Dreamy would be probably her magical coincidence. Would be a good here. She made an angel, uh -huh. but just she talks. Uh, she talks over here about you know collage carpet she calls it oh and so she talks about collaging here this is her background collage carpet i've never heard anyone say that before. i haven't either that's cool i now i'm looking at it on amazon and there's a page you know how they show like five pages mm -hmm. there's a page that has a castle on it yeah it, it's just a castle and then there's a bird with a crown down below I mean, here you see the water and the boats and a lot like a lot less monster. And then but it but then that's housed within this teardrop. Mm -hmm. And then this little person's peeking out and some doodle flowers. And down here she has some collage elements down here. Or that probably is a collage element here. Like she collaged around the edges. The just it looks like she layers with masks and stuff it's really cool and then i like also is she goes in with a pen any sort of fine liner pen you know what i mean and she doodles and outlines all these all these things yeah i find it like here's how she does a harmonious background she has a few tutorials a lot of it is how her process but i like that she shows you how to do this dreamy background. Surrealist. And, You're right, Kathleen. She's like, like a surrealist. Oh, is that would be the right? Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah. That's, yeah. Maps of the, it's so a this one. She says this is about images. And so you can see like a boat, a girl, a boats. I mean, and these are kind of painted on. I'm just fascinated by. You know what, like that, you know what that one kind of reminds me of? A little bit, not exactly, because there's no, you know, it's not outer space. It almost reminds me of D some of Dee Dee's posters. Yeah, I would say that's a good point. I would definitely say it's similar to. Right, similar but different. Yeah, and a magical, a magical sense. And maybe that's why I was drawn to it, because it is similar to Dee Dee's work. Maybe that, that one especially. I mean, like here, I mean, and she in here, though, she's got like in the blue, like she did a little rainbow and she doodled some little hot. See, I love know. that. And then look over here, which is this simple. This is like the inner child. And then over here, she has this little girl. Yes, I see Salvador Dali in there, too. Yes. You know, and then over here, along with this 
large image. I don't know. I just, I as soon as um, I got her stencils, I was blown away by her imagination. And then when I saw she had a book, I just thought, she has stencils. I missed that. She does. She has stencils. Cool. And she's like, she just, I don't know. So I haven't read it yet. Um, but this is like complex technique for working with images using line and color. So she does explain how she achieves these things. And I mean, like, it just mm -hmm. fascinating. Right, me. like, like here, how's my autofocus? It's driving me crazy. I can show you guys more details. But I mean, like, you know, you're looking at this girl, she's collaged on there, but then there's these watercolor background, and then she does the swirls. And the I love it's, it. It's just fascinating as hell. I, I just had to get this book. And you can see some of these buildings, these are collage, but then she painted over these two to make them look more cartoony He's right like, i just love the different styles all the different styles in one and look so, at she uses a lot of poscas it looks like i love that and she uses a lot of pasta this might have been more of a shape you know put some uh -huh. color down and find a shape in it and draw the shape this one she has look a more of a fish yeah that looks like a fish i see animals in the other one and then again, I like that she incorporates almost houses into every one of them because I'm not the only person who loves houses. So here, the focal points is the bird, but then this is her, her, she did her background first. And then look at all the Posca. And this is a piece of black paper. You can see she attached. Uh huh. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, you can, there it is. You can see the black paper was, and then she has her Poscas on black paper, and she just smushed that down, and then has the birds on top, and I like the doodles, because they're not, they're not sophisticated, they're simple, anyone can do them. Like, like more this, primitive. Yeah, primitive, and it's so like here, you can see that it's just a piece of black paper that she used her Posca markers that she attached, and then I love she says, I believe that visual journal is the importance of image is not in the artist's value, but rather the expression of what's inside. There's no need to work with classical drawing techniques, but rather in techniques that enable shortcuts like collage. Yes, Gail. It's like painting over a glue book page or it's like, a, again, a combination of painting and collage. She teaches you here, um, if especially if you're new to collage, um, here the composition of images. So she talks about this as a simple composition. This the cameras, I gotta not move my book. Simple, complex, and depth. So I like that she goes into this is a simple. This is if you want to keep it simple, this is a bit more complex. This is Death comp death. And that's nice. She shows you how she kind of shows you how she gets that. Yeah. Depth. yeah. And she talks about how she finds her images. And but this one again, it reminds me of like here's the, the girl's collage, the guy is collage, but then there's a lot of the, the markers and pens and painting. And see, she's looking into the things that the you know, you look at the buildings like home alone. Uh-huh. I don't know what they're called. And again, she adds houses into every one of hers, even if it doesn't make sense, because that's her thing. That's her thing. That's really cool. Yeah, I just I just was fascinated by her artwork. You know, where you just get that like you just get that you just gotta get the book because you just am fascinated by the process and how she chose. Like this is this came like from oh I got a lot glare. This came from like a little kid's book. This maybe came from a kid's book um, or a card per se. I don't know. But then again, you know, I like the, the mushroom, the dreamy trees. And then, but then, you know, this little image is collage and she's an eyeball and a caterpillar. Like she's looking at the caterpillar. It's just, I don't know. It's just freaking cool art. The words for it. here's a dinosaur bones up here. Why did she do that? I don't 
you know, don't know. Again, more houses that I love. She put some people in. I love all the pen work. Here is a book page, a book page, book paper. And then over here is this, she must have, you know, did like maybe she, that could be a reverse collage that she put down. And then she did made, put a head on here and made it into a clown. That's so cool. And you know what? It's all stuff we have. That's it there's is. nothing she uses that we don't have. Exactly. And that's what I like. It's, it's paint, it's stencil, it's doodles, it's it's collage. It's it's not like it's a culmination and just your imagination. And I absolutely love her. I just love this. I don't know if you guys are as fascinated as me, but I'm absolutely fascinated by her art. I like it. I really like it. And I was like, you know, this would be fun to, to work on or try stuff like this. Like after that, we usually do a lot of holiday stuff during these times. But I would, I mean, just to even take a break. We don't, cause we don't have to do like, we don't have to work on like the holiday stuff. Every so like, time. This, like this one would have been, you know, a mask of some sort. And all of us could draw a shape of, of you know that mask and then oh we cut it out and then like, spray. Must have the background laid the mask painted around it and then she had this background and then then added it looked like she did the like the people and she added like crowns and and then if you look over in the detail this is why i say i'm fascinated and then look she did a little per crow there's a little stick girl i could draw stick girls hello stick girls cute and then she just doodled little shapes and and then if you look here she even did some stitching on that paper and well then too i know when i'm cutting stuff out of magazines i'm like what am i ever going to do with these people well there you go it's just a hodgepodge of people like this would have mm -hmm. been from a little kid's book here's who knows where she got that image but she drew a house outlined it did a girl and this one's called this chapter is about lines and shapes and then she talks about the um the the different meanings the function it she goes back through about you know when you create your composition and da 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 and then doodling um it's a linear effect uh, if anything is worth about to read out loud i'm not the best at reading verbally so i try not to do that too much oh Even look at those cd's good at that but yeah you see the these are all little individual i, I don't know if this is one piece of paper and then she just kind of like made different art within it or this was like one she made and she laid them together for the photograph but look at the hand and like look at this dude like he's up here in the sky and look she draw she drew on his face and oh i love that just why not i mean you know it doesn't i mean have to be this one you can see there's some sort of uh you know a church image and then look at the little girls and the build. See, this is what her stencils have with little houses and upside down houses. There's some like almost zen tangling with the lines and doodles. Um, it's just fascinating. I don't just, uh, she's probably using, she may even use some gel pens. Like there's some white pen work. Mm -hmm. We all have these things. So then she goes through an exercise with you to try it on your own. So create a linear composition and then exercise two, uh, create a connection between, you know, between the images you picked. Exercise three, the, uh, use some intricate uh, with lines. Exercise four, do some doodling. And, and then she just kind of exercise five, choose a page you're working from, add an image to it. And then, so she's trying to get you all caught, you know, in uh, helping you along towards the process. I mean, look at this. Or she added this elephant, then put the house balloons where they have in common nothing. And then this she almost made like into a person. It's just, it's incredible. And then this chapter is about color. This book is thick, by the way. This book, you see me hitting it? This book is thick. Um, color and blots. That is a thick. There's a lot of information in there. How many pages is in here? 
I mean, you see her artwork. She talks about the process. 172 pages. That's a lot for. That's a nice book. We don't typically get this many pages in no. most of our art books we buy. And you don't like here's there she's there's her three collaged images and then um you know her she's talking about dues and color and blocks there's a lot of her art in that book it is and it's so fun to look at it she talks about uh how to integrate your blocks of color you're in and continuous blocks of color this is where she's there. she's using her poscas here and then she's She's running the Poscas along in here with, this is what she's talking about with the blocks. And she's filling in where she has drawn like some of the lines. And then uh, repeating it, creating a color accent. But I just like, this is just mind blowing. I just love this. Cool. Look, here's some farm animals, some houses, some Right, farm animals and jazz musicians. Yeah, like, the, like, how, like, here's a big, like, this is a silhouette, and they look inside the silhouette. This is a key cow. Silhouette. There's a cow inside the silhouette, and then there's I love it. the sheep, and then there's a little piece of, you know, collage, you know, music sheet, and another collage music sheet, and a bird, and um, this she, she probably, this she did with her Poscas. And then she doodled. Um, and then look at this. Look what she did with the other image. And, you know, she wrote all along. Those are the, awesome. The edges of the image. And it's like you can literally go in here and just stare at this book. And then you notice this. And then you notice this. And then, you know what I mean? Like you're going to keep seeing things you didn't see before. Chapter 7 is connection to the mind processing compass order so then i don't know exactly what that means but that's why we gotta read the book <laughs> connection to the mind processing and compass order techniques work this is working with text okay this chapter is working with text and how to incorporate text so this, this is her summary of the seven elements that she uses when she creates all her artwork. Cool. And then let's see, this is part two, process of visual journals. And so there's a lot to read in this book. So, I mean, this is, you know, you got the, it's just, it's not just a do book. It's a, it's a read book, which takes me longer to get through. But I just, I love that she, talks about it because this this if let's say there, if she had a class and she was verbalizing all this i don't think you could remember it all no gosh like, even i mean i just like looking at the pictures <laughs> yeah I don't read it so i think that it's nice because you can go back and reference this because if you took a class you can no way remember all the information that she that she's she's throwing at you you know what i mean yeah, you'd be taking notes the whole class yeah you would be you know and then here she collaged some houses and um you know here's this lady and then she drew this line and there's this tree and there's another collage image and a doodle image like just my i love the elephant you know i love elephants so and uh i love that she did the elephant i don't know what's sitting on the elephant and don't care. It was one of the butterflies she did. Um, the hearts were connection to lines, doodling, text. And again, she kind of reiterates like this is the page she did. And then she goes over here and she talks and then she zooms in on the areas of this larger piece of art and what she did. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And there she is. That's the artist creative these are creative tips magical uh coincidence of color emphasis connections drawing on images making them your own letting go parts of your work though that would have trouble that's a part i have trouble letting so, go letting go and covering up stuff that has yes. always been my trouble and look at uh you know creating a journal 
stories and then she talks about some of hers or stories and then here's some and then here she, this may be i don't know maybe this is her i don't know oh here it is my mother and me oh that's sweet and you know what colleen what hers i mean she covers some stuff up but she doesn't cover everything up yeah and and i like it kind of nice i like that she did this layout and then 1970s and over here she talked about the images and the text and why she used them to come up with this with what she did. And because you're not going to have the same the same images and the same style, that's why it's 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 good that this is explained mm -hmm. because you can never just you would never have the same stuff she has and she's working. And obviously, this is her style. She's been doing it a very long time. And so again, like it, here's her piece of artwork, and she explains the text intention lines. And I like that you know. The images it just goes through again, reiterating the seven things that she uses on everyone. Just, and it's it's just full of information. And if you don't want to read the whole thing, it is truly eye candy. I know, I love it. So I forgot to show you guys. I've had this a little bit. Doors and windows. Well, we love those. Oh my gosh, all that Katherine Anderson stuff would be great with mixed in with that where she does some stitching i love that she has some sheep and this guy's looking down the sheep and it it kind of like does and then she talks about where she makes hand bound journals and cutouts and she likes to do the cutouts so you see what's behind it i think she shows some of those on her youtube channel um i like that she's got the girl painting mm -hmm. yeah, that's cute so it is just incredible. Childhood, working in children's books. And oh, I like this one. I like the, the stones of her sitting here. But then like this critter, this guy, what's that supposed to represent? I don't know. Right, what's he? I know there's some, like I see so many different artists. Like there's that one woman, I forget what her, her real name is. It's Bye Buns. Like she does yes. creatures in her art. And I see, you know, it's like, I see so many different things in her art. This, this is visual translating of a poem and saying goodbye. So for her, this was, this is translating this poem into a piece of art. I love the girl and she's cute. And again, she's not perfect. I like to look, she gave her wiggly ears and, you know, this little skinny mouth and, you know, just that's her girl, and she didn't worry about you know proportions being right or whatever. This one's neat with the little figures. Oh, I like those. Those we definitely, you know, final words and goes on. So this is a cool book. So if you like this kind of art or to do or just to look at, I would definitely say get that book. Yeah, I'm going to get it, Colleen. It's cool. It is it's cool. Because you cool need to, work. if you want to even attempt to do this, you really need to read it. You really need to, to look at her stuff and, you know. And I, could see, I could see reading that one. I don't know why, but I feel like that. Because a lot of them, I have to admit, some I just look at the pictures. I do, I, too. I could see. I can see. I think I'll be reading that one. And yeah, like this one, she's showing, you know, the different techniques for to get her magical coincidence with jelly prints, alcohol-based ink, spreading acrylics with a plastic card, magical uh, paper with uh, watercolors, black ink blobs, and eco prints. Those are the things that she uses to get that that surreal, magical backgrounds. So. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot there's a lot to this activating your imagination exercise. Um, so there's a lot. They like said it's a thick book, but this is packed full and totally cool. This is I've never seen a book I've never seen a book quite like this. I have a lot of books, and that's so neat. So if I haven't. Uh, enabled anyone you get you know you put this in your cart if you can <laughs> and get it later 
I can say, if you can't do it now, just put it in your Amazon cart and get it later. Yeah, just put a reminder. Like what I, I do. Like it's really cool. I'm sure I yeah, got the money. I just throw it in my cart and then purchase it later. All right. Well, thank you, Colleen. This was fun. This was fun. Thank you for being here that has um, that has lasted the whole time. We appreciate you being here. Yeah, thank you, everybody. All your pretty papers. This was fun. I had Look fun. All doing those. This. And then this little happy accident. I love all your pretty papers. Thank you. I love it. Yours turned out too. We'll have fun with these. I may make it. I think I might make a journal out of mine. I think you should. You got enough there. You could. Yeah, I will. I'll cut them down a little bit. I'll see what size I'm going to make. Awesome. Bye, well, everybody. Awesome. Thank you. We'll see you on another Tuesday. I'll be on Tuesday with her just with my camera. Yeah, I'll be here Tuesday and I'll be here next Friday. And hopefully, Colleen, you'll feel up to it. Otherwise, I will be here next Friday. I should be anyway. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.